is everyone doing on this fan fucking tastic Monday? On this fan fucking tastic Monday chat. I'm late. I know I'm late. Uh, I actually have an excuse this time. My dog threw up everywhere. It was fucking awful, chat. It was awful. I was eating dinner. Well, not even dinner. I call it dinner because I'm fucking streaming when you when a normal person would eat dinner, but I eat before I stream. Anyways, I'm eating, and normally I'll give, like... Do y'all give your dogs, like, chicken scraps and shit? Like, I'll give my dogs, like, the... Or not my dogs. My dog, the chicken, um... Like the little, not the gristle. I don't know what it's called. Like the little fat pieces. Anyways, uh, she like loses her shit over them. And I'm like eating and I give her one. And if, for those of you that don't know, when a, do a dog doesn't usually just randomly puke, you can like know they're about to throw up. They start going, and I'm going to make this noise, okay? And it's probably not going to be very accurate. They start going. Like it, like for like five minutes, not like five minutes. They know they start making that noise, and if you have a dog that's ever thrown up, you know that noise, right? It's like they start going, and they like move their head, like they're trying to get it up. And so I give, I'm like, I just start eating, bro. I just start eating, and I give her like a piece, and I'm like just chilling there, you know. I'm just trying to fucking eat. I'm getting ready for stream, you know. So I'm trying to eat quickly, and. I, I see her, like, kind of, like, like do this weird crawl and just start going, and I'm like, bro, I swear to fuck. So I fucking, I move her onto, like, tiled floor, because I don't want her to throw up on my carpet. And, because that's a pain in the ass to get out. She fucking chats. She throws up this, oh my god, I'm about to gag. Uh, it is chat. I fucking hate I would rather pick up dog poop than dog throw up. Picking up, like, I've picked up dog shit a million fucking times. Unfazed. Right? When you have to pick up puke, it is so, oh my god. She throws up everywhere. And it's, like, probably like this. Like, it would fill my hands. Like, fill my hands. Dude. And there's, like, this weird hair in it. And I'm, like, Daisy. And she like uh, I I don't want to get mad at her right because she she throws up and I'm an, I'm mad right I'm not mad at her but I'm mad right because I know I'm gonna be late to stream I want to eat and my dog's fucking puking everywhere and I'm like dude I have to clean this up and she's she had like you know when a dog throws up they give you this look. And so she's sitting there staring at me, <laughs> like sad as hell. And I'm like, it's fine, right? It's fine. So I clean it up, right? And I put it in the trash bag. It's like almost an empty trash bag. I fucking throw it out. I'm like, I don't want vomit in my house, right? And so I throw it out. I come back. There's another pile on the ground. From the time that I go out and throw out the fucking trash bag, there's more vomit on the fucking route. She threw up again. Again. This time it wasn't as much, but it was liquid, dude. It was like running everywhere. Oh my god. And I and then, dude, right after that, I clean it up again. And I'm like, oh my fucking god. I'm like scrubbing my hands because I'm like, I don't want to smell this shit while I'm eating. And so I oh, I sit back down. I start eating. Dude, like nothing happened. That's why, how dogs are, bro. Like nothing happened. She's, she's fucking resting her head on my lap, wagging her tail, fucking trying to get me to give her food. And I'm like, I'm like, yo, dickhead. I'm like, I'm not mad at you, but I'm not giving you food. Last time I give you food, you fucking puked everywhere. I swear to God, if I fucking go take a piss and I see another pile of vomit, oh my God, I'm going to fucking lose it. I never, I never get mad at my dog, though, for throwing up. Because it's not her fault. Like, she's just, like, like, that'd be crazy to get fucking mad. I'm just mad in general. I'm like, oh, you're fucking kidding me. It's, it smells so, it, it's like rancid, dude. Like, a acid. It just smells like acid. Anyways. Oh, did anybody see the solar eclipse? We're playing Rainbow, by the way. We're playing Rainbow today. Forgot to say that. We're playing Rainbow again. Move Madame Madonna next week. We're playing Rainbow and more Doki Doki today. 
Anybody see the eclipse? I did. It was trash. Uh, it was kind of mid. Uh, if, for those of you that don't know, solar eclipse is when the moon covers the sun and then it like blocks out the sun. For some people, it's called a totality. Depending on where you live, the moon would entirely block the sun and then it gets pitch black for like, what, a couple minutes? Um, I'm in New Jersey. It was like uh, fucking 90% uh, covering. I thought it was going to be so much cooler, right? I thought it was going to be so much fucking cooler. I I had these glass. I made a rant about it, dude. It pissed me off that much. I have these glasses to like stare at the sun. And I was going outside and I was like, hey, man, this will be fucking sick, right? Like it's going to be really dark. It, it, was, a, it was cloudy out, so it was already kind of shady. It was like, dude... It was like 3.30. It felt like it was 6.30. That's that's how dark it got. It was like pretty ass. What did Brady say? Seeing it in totality is much cooler. I know that. I've seen... That's what I was... Ex I know it wasn't totality. But when they... When the newsman's like, Hey, if you're in PA, New Jersey, or New York, it's going to be 90% covered. So my ass is going 90% covered... It's going to be 90% darker. It wasn't. It wasn't. Like, I mean, is that a logical train of thought? That's what I thought, right? Oh, the moon's not covering 90% of the sun. Oh, only 10%'s getting through. It's going to be pretty fucking dark outside. It was like, oh, little dark. Like, it was like shady. Like, there, it, like re it just felt really cloudy. And it was already cloudy. So it wasn't that... Bitch, and I'm like, I bought those glasses too because I was like, oh, yo, it's going to be until... They kept saying, oh, next one's 2044. I'm like, damn, bitch, that's in like fucking 20 years. 2044? I'll be a fucking dad. I'll, I'll have a beer belly then, right? That's fucking a grip away, right? Oh, my God. We're going to be paying our kids fucking college funds then. What the fuck? You'll be 40. Yeah. 20 fucking years from now? So I was like, oh, I might as well go see it. It was mid. That's for the next, for the next US, the next in the world's 2026. Yeah, at the end of the day, you could just fucking travel somewhere. Somebody redeem scream. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Ah! That's all you're getting. I'm not turning up the game. 10 for the sub. Joaquin for the sub. Decky for the three. How many save do you think I'll make at the lacrosse practice? I have no idea. I don't even know how, what the average save count is at lacrosse. Noel and Ice Reef for the sub. Igloo, Mr. Bean, Mixer, Slurpee, Walkie, Vice Key, Connor, I Love Milk, The Nia, uh, Ryan, It's Statue, Ecure, Ya Boy, Fool, Pooperty, CS, Milkshake, Monet for the sub floating for the three. Doki Doki today. Fa fun fact of the day 33. Adolf Hitler was nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. For what? Ark, Dark Void, and Soylent for the sub. Namzi Cog for the sub. Was that the pre World War II Nazi shit? Or was that. What the fuck? What did he get nominated for? Nobel Peace Prize? For why? Uh, it's in Iceland, which would low-key be a vibe to travel there. Uh, in Iceland would be cool. You just copied that twice. Uh, sir and phase for the sub. I do want to go to Iceland. I would love to go to Iceland. Plan that out. See some puffins. It was an accident. Somebody redeem scream as loud as I can again. Yo, two, sh two fucking hot fuck. I don't even know what I'm saying. Hot fucking shit, pal. Refund that. I'm losing my voice. Because motherfuckers keep redeeming scream. Refund it. No. 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 Refund it. Fuck. For why? Are you hyped for Doki Doki later? It better get good. I'm going to be mad if it doesn't. But it started to scale, so we'll see. You know, we probably have, like, ten, like th there's probably, like, this Stokey stream, and then the next one will finish it. Because the game takes, like, five hours. We're, like, two hours in. Anyways, plan for the day, chat. Rainbow Six Siege, we're playing more of it. Uh, on the rank, or on the on the grind to play ranked. Uh, I'm trying to level up my account so I can fucking play ranked. Can't play ranked yet, so we're trying to grind that out. I also suck ass still, so we're trying to get good. Uh, then we're going to play Doki. Uh, Doki Doki later, you guys fucking convinced me to keep playing that game, surprisingly. Um, Tuesday, I'm, tomorrow, I'm not gonna be live. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of shit for 
future content stuff, and I got fucking college work. Uh, Wednesday, I'm going to be doing uh, scary games. We got another Chills Arc game, probably Decimate Drive, more itch games. Uh, Thursday is going to be Fortnite and then Hoophobia and scary games with other streamers. Friday's Reacts and the WWF charity stream. Saturday is going to be maybe a little bit of Ready or Not. Outside of that, it's going to be a Sim Saturday day. We got a lot of Sim games we're going to be playing. Uh, Sunday is going to be Reacts. Uh, and next Monday is going to be Man of Madon. Next Tuesday, probably not in live. Maybe an extra stream. I don't know for sure. And next Wednesday uh, will be more scary games. Content warning Thursday, maybe? Yeah, we might do content warning Thursday as well. I don't know for sure, though. We're going to definitely do Hoophobia. Maybe a scary game as well. And then possibly content warning. Um... But yeah, are we ready to hop in for the for today's stream chat? That's the schedule for the week. Uh, I'm going to be doing an extra upload on YouTube today when I end stream. Uh, and then we have another upload Tuesday. Not doing an extra upload this Thursday, but we're going to... We've been doing extra uploads like usually once a week for either the gaming or the main channel. Um, anything else before we need to hop in? No, I don't think so. I got out my rants. I talked about my dog puking. Uh, I hope she's okay. Little, you little f in the chat for Daisy. Hope she's feeling a bit better. You know, I think she's probably sleeping now, uh, cause she just threw up everything she ate today. Ava for the sub, John for the three. Watched every vod to the end, and this is my first ever time in stream. Love your content. Thank you, RX and Sir for the sub, Phase and Namzi for the sub. I hope she gets better, dude. She's been thrown up more recently. It's kind of worrying me. I know dog. Some dogs puke a lot, but it's like, dude, she throws up like once a week. Honestly, it, I don't. I think it's because she doesn't chew her food, dude. I don't know if I need to get, like, a special eating bowl. But, like, anybody else's dog just fucking straight up swallow shit whole? Like, if I gave my dog, swear, if I gave my dog a treat this big, she would just instantly go one chew and then swallow it. And I'm like, that's, that can't be, that can't be good. Right? Cole for the five gifted. Thank you for the five gifted subs. She only does it with certain foods, too. It's weird. Cole, thank you for the five subs, though. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the five gift heads. Uh, Nolan for the sub as well. You got to get a slow feeder. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think it's the speed at which she eats, right? I think she eats at a normal pace. I think it's my dog doesn't chew. It's just fucking just, um, um, just swallowing it. Like when she threw up, there were whole bits of her fucking, like, not kibble, but you know, like dog food. Like, just whole ass pieces in her vomit. And I'm like, bro, like, you gotta fucking... Like, I'm looking at my dog, and I'm, like, trying to reason with her. Like, hey, maybe you wouldn't throw up as much if you fucking chewed your food. What breed is she? A fucking golden retriever. I, I don't know, dude. It's just every fucking time, man. What happened to Daisy? She just threw up. Anyways. Ugh, lock in here, chat. Sends Ross for the sub. For the tier, uh, tier one sub for 20 months. Are you playing alone today? Probably first game. First game, second game maybe, and then I'll see if other streamers want to play. I know Brady said he wants to hop in. We'll see what we're doing now. I'm really trying to grind this out off stream as well so I can fucking play ranked soon. Because I think we're more than halfway there. Then we are running a god squad. Brady's going to try and recruit people. Did you see the totality? No, because I live in New Jersey and it was boring as fuck. Uh, 13 for the sub. Oh my god, I got a free gift? Get a free gift from the R6 team. Visit the shop highlights category. Where? Oh my god, a free gift. Where is it? I already claimed it. Fuck! Alright. Kind of cringe. We play standard, right? We can't play ranked. God, that's so fucking stupid. So fucking stupid. Why do they do that? What is the reasoning behind Rainbow not allowing you to play ranked early? Why'd you stop uploading on the shorts channel for a long time? Because I didn't give a fuck about shorts. YouTube shorts. Now I just upload the clips. Um, for Smurfs? Is that really why? How much, how much do people buy just like base, like, uh, level 50 accounts for in Rainbow? Is Smurfing that big of an issue here? I know that in, in most, in most fucking games, like League, Val, probably even Rainbow, if I had to guess. Wait, hold up. Yo, what's going on, team? What's up? Oh, okay. <laughs> How's your day been, pal? Hello. <laughs> oh, God. Anyways, um, 
What the fuck was I saying? Dude, he just threw me off, he threw me off guard. Joe, man. just I'm... let me suck your toes, please. Just once, Joe, please. Just let me suck your toes once. Just cringe. Oh, is this the real Joe Bart? Secure the area. <laughs> is this the real Joe Bart? Is this the real Joe Bart? Anyways. Um, oh my god. How much do you sell those accounts for? Like, a, just a base rainbow, like, level 50 account. Joe, please, just let me suck your toes. Yeah, Joe, Joe. On God, chat, how do I mute him? On God, chat, how do I fucking mute somebody? How do I fucking mute somebody? Please, somebody tell me. Somebody tell me, how do I mute him? How do I mute him? I just tell me how do I mute him. Oh my God, tell me how I mute him. Tell me how I mute him. Tab and then middle mouse button. That is not how you mute somebody. That's dead. Mute him. Mute him. Down to five fucking seconds. mute that kid. Holy shit, dude. That's fucking so annoying. I didn't even place any Top of my shit. I love you, Joe Bartolozzi. Dude, first game. What are the odds? First game. First game, this fucking kid's just fucking yapping up a storm. Oh my god. What are the fucking odds of that? Let them come. Anyways. 20, 30 bucks for a fucking base rainbow account? I know, like, iron accounts in League sell for, like, fucking hundreds of dollars or some shit. Because it's harder to be, like... It's harder to be that bad at League or even Val than just, like, play the fucking game. To be the worst rank in the game, you actually have to pay more than the best rank. I never leave my position. I know how to play the game now. Okay, dickhead, what are you doing here? Crouch and put the traps on the bottom so they Guys, can't Guys, can I get see. some comms wear? <laughs> I'm gonna need some comms wear. What? Oh my god. Hold up. Your location you has fucking been hang this shit up. I'm, a I'm hanging up the phone. I'm getting pinged, buddy. I'm hanging it up too. Fuck. Three, five. We're all dying here. I'm hearing them. Oh my god, you scared the fuck out of me. I shot my teammate. That was a good flick, though. That was a good flick, though, wasn't it? Dude, where are they? Watch this skylight, bitch. Why? I gotta change my fucking push to talk. Why the hell is the default push to talk? Fucking you. That is on the other side of my fucking keyboard when I'm trying to calm these motherfuckers. Oh my, I'm gonna freak out. Oh my bad, I'm scared. Hold up. How do I change that shit? Audio. Push to talk. Push to talk. Somebody find it, please. I'm changing that to you. Yes. Where the hell, where the hell is, where the hell is it? Where the hell is it? Where the hell is it? Why are there? My fucking god! Why are there a thousand? Secure the why are there area. a thousand fucking protected. controls on this fucking game? Why are there that many fucking controls? Why do we need that many fucking controls at the top? Thank fuck. I already changed that shit. Up uh, four has located a bomb. Plan your defenses accordingly. Why? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh my god, I'm gonna be fucking knifing. I'm gonna be fucking... Hello? Oh my fucking god, it didn't, it didn't apply. It didn't apply. What is... Who made... Who made this game? Who made this game? Please. Where is it? Op 4 has located a bomb. I'm gonna die before I fucking figure this out. Here it is. Let's select round. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna freak out. I'm. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Look it up? What do you mean, look it up? Like, Google it? I can fuck. Mid game. What do you mean, look it up? I can't search. Where? Hello? 
Hello? Oh my god, I fucking changed it. Thank fuck. They're here! They're here! Hopefully we play a little better this time. Shut the fuck up! Watch this. Fucking peek it, dude. Ah! What is this shit? What is that? Oh my god. Above, above! How did I barely hit him there? You think my team's got that calm? I think they got it. W comms, I know. Dude, like, what is that shit? I just keep hearing doom, 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 and then shit blows up. Now they got this. They're locked. They're locked. Okay. <laughs> A zombie's got this one. I've been watching. I've been watching them play. Look at this. They don't leave that angle. There's one. There's two. Oh my god. Mission failed. I was gonna say I'd shark my pants blood. right now if they fucking clutch this. Monty, Yuri, and Dracon for the sub. Wallman for the three. Would you relate the smell of farts closer to a rotten egg or the smell of spoiled milk? Eggs. Blueberry for the sub. Jacob for the five. Been dating this girl for eight months. We're doing well together. Dub. The Dirt Indian, uh, Shrivel, Dr. Pineapple, Maddie, and Lotus for the Sun Ariella for the three. I have a French Bulldog. He does the same exact thing. Size down the food. 13 and Senzaros for the sub. Yeah, but like every pellet's like the same. Yo, we are getting fucking shafted here, chat. Is attack or defense usually easier? <sighs> My god, no shot. No shot. We only got we only got one guy with kills on our team. And it's fucking a zombie. That kid that was spent saying, oh, Joe Bartolozzi, let me suck your toes. That kid's muted and he's 0-2. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Look at him, just staring at a fucking wall. Pick up the pace, pal. Do some shit. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me doing shit for the team right now. Fucking cap can. Cap can. Number one NA. Just what Yo, I've Joe. heard. Did you see the solar eclipse? It was cute like you. Hey, you see the solar eclipse? Yeah. You're getting muted. You're getting muted. You're getting muted. You're getting... You're just getting muted. Oh my god, my whole team's fucking muted. Oh, did you see the, the solar eclipse? Fuck. Shut up! We just talked about that shit. You're my stream right now, and you're fucking asking me some shit we already talked about for ten minutes. Hey, you just saw the solar eclipse. I took a picture on it. Oh my DS. Oh, that's so cool, man. This will be fun. I don't know where anything is, dude. These maps make no sense to me. I'm, like, I'm just, just genuinely confused. Like, where is that coming from? Somebody's breaking the doors down. I'm hiding in the back, because I'm scared. I hear shit. Oh my god, they're ringing my shit! Hang up! Hang up! Oh my god, how does he see me? What do I do? What do I do? Dickhead! Dickhead! Dickhead ass! I can still see- operator remaining. Oh my god! All friendlies were eliminated. Fuck! I just start taking Adderall when I play this game. How the hell does he shoot me that fast? Yo, it's like the second I see his ass. Dude, like my brain doesn't even process it and I'm dead.
You think Jinxie takes Adderall? Maybe. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know how you. I don't know how you're good at this game if you don't take fucking drugs. <sighs> he does coke, maybe. Fucking just locked in, just absolutely locked in, a fucking inch from the screen. I feel like that's how you go blind too. Just sitting there like this. Fucking zone. Use your ears, buddy. I am. It does it. I hear echoes. Okay I hear echoes, dude. I hear don't, don't, don't. That shit could be to my right. It could be above me. It could be my left. I don't even fucking know. Maybe I'm deaf. I probably got too much earwax in my ears. Yo, do y'all use Q-tips? Apparently, you're not supposed to. I do. It clogs my shit. Then I gotta pour water in my <laughs> ears. My God, is the whole team gonna fucking talk to me now? My God, can we just, can we have comms? Can we have comms? Not start asking me about a stupid fucking solar eclipse and shit. Five seconds before insertion. I don't even fucking see anything. I'm not holding bomb. Why do I have bomb every time? Located a bomb. Oh, swear to God, I'm about to pop off here. The diffuser has been recovered. I heard your voice echo. Somebody's watching your stream. Yeah, I have two of them. Loading your mic. Two of them fucking muted. I'm scaling this building. Good idea. Yeah, break that shit. Break that shit in. Break that shit in, Ian. Yeah, Ian. Show them what you're about here. Show them what you're about here, Ian. Give it to him, Ian. Show me what you're about. Show me what you're about. Peep that shit. Come on, Ian. Peep that bitch. Peek that bitch. Hold up, I'll flash for you. I'm in. We're in here. I'm in there, dog. I like the classical music. It's calming my nerves. I'm working my way up. I'll be there. I'll be there soon. If once I figure out how to come upstairs. Should I pre-fire? I don't want to give away my position. The user is no longer in your possession. Oh my god, it's already 2-5. Where are they? Ping! 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 Ian, what's up, dog? You're alive. I love you, man. Oh, I'm getting so nervous. I'm running. Ah! Bitch! Friendly, last operator standing. Op 4 neutralized. Mission successful. Four v one. Four v one. Well, it's not a four v one. I got four kills. I was I wasn't the last person alive until the end. I didn't even use my thermite shit. I feel like I never use it. I never see the fucking reinforced walls to put that bitch on. Unmute them. Max don't even got a mic! Yo, these motherfuckers are- Hello, running. Joe. Yo, you want to pick up the pace there, bud? One and four, my man. My fault, Joe. Yeah, my fault. My shit. fault, Joe. Oh, no, my fault. That? You peeped that, though? You peeped that kill, though, that I got? You peeped that kill? Yo, since you all muted me, I'm going to Joe. Yeah? Please. I swear to God, if you ask me about a solar eclipse, you're stuck in my toes. You're no, getting we need back to win. muted. You're getting muted again if you say anything about my feet. Joe, I have a 12 loss streak. We need to win this, please. 12 loss streak. Oh my god. I'm still in copper. Please, Joe. Five seconds. Dude, that's fucking awful. 12 losses. Yo, mobile for the 5k biddies. Stop in the chat Joe, for that shit. Joe, what's my team kill right now? 
Yeah, you wouldn't do that though. Say I won't. Say I won't right no, no, now. No, 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 I'm not saying you won't. I'm saying you shouldn't. Yo, I'm already getting shot. Yo, Joe, can you res, please? I died. He sniped me out the window. Joe, can I get a two-year two gifted covered. sub? Oh my god, bro. This motherfucker is so loud. Hey, yeah, I might as well just go up to the top, bitch. Fucking look now. Hit him with a little bonk. That's that switch up, chat. And there's the only one way to go down. Okay, well, I'm droning. Oh. I don't have a drone. I thought I had another drone. A zombie inside. Yeah, what are the odds they're looking at this right now? Yeah, they're probably stream sniping. Oh god, dude. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, we lost this shit. Yo, um, I'm a YouTube and TikTok uh, viewer. I'm happy I finally got a chance to see the stream. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Hey, Joe. Oh, never say never. Bro. bro said never say never. Is he the only one alive? Who's alive? Oh, God. No, he's good. He's good. He got 31 health. 31 health in a dream. I'm gonna read the donuts after that. Oh, hell no! Oh, hell no! Oh, hell no! Oh, hell no! All friendlies have been eliminated. Joe! Joe, can you say hi for Snap? How would they even hear me? Just say it! Ian, Ian Crab, shut the fuck up! I was on your side! for the entirety of the game and now you say I'm bad, bitch. Joe, I love you. Joe, Joe. Oh my what? God, oh my He's God, get me out of the call with this kid, please. Let me leave. Tito for the sub, Creed and Energy for the sub. Vanessa for the sub, Nolan for the thousand biddies. Says, let me join so I can carry again. Rex for the three. Go to your settings, change audio mode from hi-fi to night mode, and makes footsteps louder. AMD and AJ for the sub, ASU and SMO, Shades, Lazy, Monty for the sub, Yuri and Dracon for the sub. Chad, is that actually a good play to change my audio setting? Do you not love your fans? I'm not adding him back. Where do I go? Audio... Hi fi to night mode. Alright, what other operators should I buy? I got 3,000 creds. And I gotta invite Nolan. Operators. I don't even know what the fuck this shit is. Like, what is this? Operators. No, General, I'm gonna play. No, General, I'm not. I'm sorry, man. I'm playing with Nolan. You run another solo, we could get a squad together. I might run one more solo first. I want to see how I can hold my own weight. What's a good operator, chat? Oh, God, they're all so hard to fucking learn. Is Twitch good? Drone that manually fires lasers to destroy opponent devices. Okay, chat, you're all just spamming so many different people. Is Castle good? Try to be a castle main. Frost. Bro, who doesn't suck? <laughs> Get Buck. Who's Buck? Is he on the first? He has to be on the first one. I'm not going to have enough if he's not on the first one. Buck is 10k creds. 
Underbarrel shotgun attachment on his main weapon? That's fucking overpowered. Mute. Detects heartbeat. That's kind of crazy. I feel like that's low-key crazy. You detect a heartbeat? Don't get pulse. I just got pulse. Castle? Isn't cat? What does Castle do? Oh, he's a fucking he sets bulletproof barricades that are more resistant than standard ones. Is Castle bad? Stop skipping the cinematics. Okay, I won't skip the cinematics. Get IQ. He is good. Okay, I'll get Castle. How long are the cinematics for each? They got a whole damn movie. Taking a sweet old time to load that fucking gun. Amateurs. That was it. Yeah, he's beefy as fuck. Look at that motherfucker. Thick ass helmet, too. All right. I can unlock one more. I should probably unlock an attacker. What's an attacker? Uh, everybody said IQ. Uses the electronics detector to locate. Any electronics in range through obstacles such as walls. That sounds so complicated, bro. I need some shit where I press a button and it helps me. Get Twitch. IQ so easy. Okay, fine. I don't want one with an ass gun, though. Is this their ability? So they can just shoot lasers at shit and it gets rid of it? She can see every gadget? Okay, that's actually dope. Word. Okay. That's fire. That's actually fire. Y'all did him dirty. Bitch, they're a thousand creds. I can unlock more of them. You play, like, one game, then you unlock them. One more solo, and then I'll hop in with other people. Linky, Mark, and Chip for the sub. Tito for the sub. Use the command of primary gun. Dude, like, I don't understand this shit at all. It's also because it's, like, very new to me. What is watch? Replays? Is this from my games? I can rewatch my matches. Moth for the fucking three. Uh, hope you have a great day. Did you watch the eclipse? Uh, yeah. Uh, it was all right. I'm not talking about it again. Turn off the music. Why? All right. I'll use IQ. What's the good gun? Chat. Which gun? Are we defending? I forget. No, we're attacking. Commando. <clears throat> and then what? Claymore, breach charge, bitch. Oh my god. Why are all these people getting banned for cheating? Are they in my game or does that just do it globally? Do they just show everybody that just gets banned for cheating? Like worldwide? That's actually pretty cool. Locate a bomb. <laughs> it just randomly shows you like 10 people that just got fucking permaban. What cheats are they even using in this game? Like fucking aimbot? I don't understand the reason in cheating. Like, have you guys ever cheated or used hacks in video games? The only game that I ever used hacks for was in BO2. But like, that was years later, and I used it to get like the master prestige in diamond in GTA. I, like, for getting items and stuff, I I understand it in that sense. 
but for the idea of like, hey, just so I can shit on people, Your mission is to you don't feel it like it's not bomb. fun. Because then you're just, you're shitting on people, yeah, but you're shitting on people only because you're cheating. Which I feel like makes it just way fucking more boring. Where the hell is the building? Is this the building? How many maps are in this fucking game? I don't even remember what my fucking guy does. When should I do this? Dude, I gotta change the, I gotta change it from you. Now it's fucking terrible. Fucking break that bitch open. Do I use it now? Use it to find a bomb. Scanning. Stay sharp. Oh, so I use it like that. Bomb detected. You have located a bomb. It just shows me where the bombs are. It just shows me where the bombs are. What the fuck was that? There was an open window? Yeah, but how did they fucking see me through? Where were they? Oh, fuck this. Scanning. Bomb located. Oh my god, it just shows me where everything is. I gotta shoot through it, though. Bitch, I'm peeking it. Oh! I'm ass, I'm ass, I'm ass, I'm ass. Chad, I had no health. I had no health, that's not my fault. I gotta change the setting. This is where we change the setting. What button do you guys use to fucking knife? C. Oh my god, dude, every fucking button is taken. What about, what about C? Text chat. Oh my god, X? <laughs> Drop the diffuser. Use V? Then what do I use to for push to talk? Oh my god, I have my side buttons! Oh my god! One friendly operator remaining. Wait! 15 seconds Hold left. On. 10 seconds. Why did I just fucking do that? Five oh seconds. my god, that was so much fucking better. Up now I can just press the side button. Alright, right, team, I'm locked in here. I'm out for the break. Can you wish me and hey, my boyfriend, go. Perry, a happy anniversary? We've been uh, watching you since we got together. Happy anniversary. Uh, low picks for the sub, I'm out for the break. Alright, now I'm locked. Who's Lion? And I have Lion. This is that dickhead that uses the shield. That's like, I feel like that's like pussy shit though. Use lion. <laughs> and they just fucking use it. Oh, is lion the shit that does that beep beep and then they scan him? Oh, that's easy as shit. Just gotta fucking start using that. Like, where do I go? I don't even know where the. Am I in the? Am I in the map? How do I get inside? Oh. All right, they're shooting through this fucking wall here. Oh. I skedaddle through him, and he shot it. Fuck! Insertion in 10 seconds. Put a long delay on your stream so they can't stream snipe. Bro, I don't think anybody's stream sniping. I think they're just clapping me. Does Jinxie have a delay on his stream? I feel like he might. See, I'm getting nervous here. I'm about to be going into Quan. Yeah, look at that. That's my sledge. 
That's my sledge. He knows what's going on here. Fucking throw that bitch. They can come outside? Come on, Joe Bart. Bro, I didn't see him. Stay behind me. The diffuser has been recovered. Yo, that is actually crazy. This guy is 11 ping. 11 ping. Is Buddy standing next to the server? Change your You're really not helping. You're actually just not helping there. All friendly have been eliminated. God damn it. Pings are gonna be okay. Why are they getting Clearly so- Clearly not. Why are they getting so mad? God fucking damn it. Athenio DM'd you on Twitter to coach you? Is he like a pro? I'm going Lion. Fuck that. No, I'm not going Lion. It's the last round. I'll go Lion next game. They're going to get mad at me because they want to go Lion. Dude. Hold up. I don't see his message. Oh, who is this? You need to use your drone to locate a bomb. Oh my god, he did. Wait, hold up. He said he would coach me to play Rainbow. Should I get a Rainbow coach one day, chat? And get good? That'd be nuts if I actually got good at this fucking game. And I didn't suck dick. Then you guys wouldn't make fun of me. You would still make fun of me. Dude, I've learned that. You guys say I'm trash no matter how good, good at the game I could be. Like, if I was fucking immortal in Val, you would still say I'm bad at the game. Insertion in 10 seconds. But he's using text chat. Mom, please, 69. Your drone has found a bomb. You've located a bomb. That was Make a good chat. Was that a good one? That was a good cam. That's a good cam. Now that's a good fucking cam. Buddy, buddy, peek my cam. You can see three of them. I pinged him. My god, I'm about to throw a bomb in there. Hold X to scan. Oh, wait, hold up. Deploying drone. Bitch. That's not what I wanted. No, he's right there. What do you mean, no opponents? That's not him? They have clones? God fucking damn it. What shooting at, Alex? Jesus. You heard the C4. You heard the C4. God damn it. Alex, what is that? <laughs> Horrendous performance. Jesus. Dude, we're all 0-3. Holy shit. Our team is getting fucking stomped. Hot and ghosted for the sub. Right, we, 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 the we got our defense. Team. We got our defense. We got yeah, our we're defense. on defense, bro. This is fucking. That, that's an all. That's a. This is defensive that's side all, of the map. 100%. Like, I don't even know how to get into the site. Who do I go? To I just bought Castle. Which one of Castle's weapons do I use? This thing's about to suck, isn't it? Does it blow? Does it chat his castle ass? Ump shorty. What? And I just fucking area. camp. The bombs protected. I just fucking camp like a loser. Is that a good area? <laughs> I'm gonna be throwing these bitches. Proximity alarm! Mink mink! Deploy! Did someone breach the has located a bomb. Plan your defenses accordingly. Is that not a good spot? <laughs> Is that not... Where do I... Where do I put these? Like this? Where do I put them? I just reinforce yeah, shit. So seconds. put them on windows? Clear BDS line of fire. Like put them on yeah, windows and shit. 
Yeah? Okay. Yo, I thought he was the one that placed the little barrier. Be ready for hostile action. Where else do I place this bitch? All regular reinforced here. W Castle? I think I'm doing a good job right now. I'm placing this. I don't care if this is a bad spot. It's a good spot in my mind. I don't know why anybody think you could win, Joe. Yo, you're such an asshole. Deploying the base. Just wait. Just wait for this fucking... Just wait for the fucking 4-0 here. That this team's got going on. Good team, Ken. Alarm. Alarm. They're right there, bro. That is so stupid. Where are they? Shoot them, dude, please. Reload. Where is he? Is he behind the what? Yo, how did he fucking kill me? Am I not shooting him? How does he see me? How does he see me? How does he fucking see me? That is so stupid. When's Doki Doki? Don't fucking yeah, it's lose probably it. in like an hour. Use an ACOG. On a fucking SMG, you lean the wrong way. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna fucking cry. Please for the sub, hop for the sub, go sip for the sub. Blur about for the three. You should play with the Dino. I just DM'd him back. I didn't even know he fucking messaged me. I don't check my DMs like that. But, I mean, if he's a good fucking R6 player, I'd definitely play with him. Castle has a cog. Okay, Evo, we get it. Hack the drone, bullseye. I need caffeine. That's what it is. That's surely what it is, right, chat? This cherry slush is about to lock me in. Am I 0 4? <laughs> what is that on his screen? What is that on his screen? Why does he have a little dude on his screen? Why are there so many abilities that I don't understand? The operator remaining. That's a new operator. God fucking damn it! All friendly. Demiosis tracker, dude. I honestly gotta get better. I I can't have game sense like that because I don't know all the agents or the operators. We got total defeated. Yo, fuck off. Yo, it was a good try though, team. Oh, fucking was it? You just fucking blow. That was a great game. I, I very much enjoyed oh, that. No, no, oh, fucking move. I'm not giving them shit. Fucking leave. All right, let me invite Nolan. Hold up. Where the hell is it? Social. I invited JoJo too. I don't even know if he's on now. Slide me that invite. I did. Let's see if they can hard carry me. Who's going? Yo! Oh, what's oh, up, I need Nut? Change. What's up, Nut Stain? Yeah, don't worry about that. <clears throat> Solid name, Nolan. Thank you. <laughs> Man, I appreciate it. <laughs> can you just make your name anything hey, in Rainbow? Shit. Is there, like, no restrictions on name on names in Rainbow? Not that I know of. You can set, like, a custom one in the settings, and it just can be whatever you want. That's crazy. I've had yeah, my name. I'm sending that before. Got the God Squad here. Yeah, the three, the the three, the not the duo, the trio. My editor and Nolan. Nolan from Mr. Beast. Yeah, we're playing with Nolan from Mr. Beast. Yo, uh, Nolan, one of my uh, chatters, Rustic Kevin's a big fan of you here. He said he liked you in the Mr. Beast videos. Uh, do you want to say hi? Okay. Okay. Wrong Nolan. Mr. Beast has never talked to me. <laughs> Imagine if I was playing fucking R6 with Nolan. What video games do you think Nolan plays? 
Animal Crossing. And Zelda. I feel like that's it. I'm going Cap Can again, chat. I really think I can fucking... I think I can pop off with fucking Cap Can. Chat, which one's better? The SASG? Oh, that's the semi-auto shot. Yo, you might consider changing your sensitivity a little. Oh my it's God. like the default, are you, which is are insanely high. Me, are you trying to give me tips to play the game right now? <laughs> Possibly. I'll just turn down my DPI. Okay. What are the odds he has at 60 FOV? No, I made sure he changed. Area. You're a good man, Brady. <laughs> I can <laughs> bear to watch that shit on stream. If I was playing 60 FOV. Doki Doki. Doki Doki is gonna get pretty crazy later. Chad, I had an edible last night. And I was watching a movie, got 30 minutes in, changed it. Started watching another movie, got 30 minutes in, changed it. I can't, st I don't, dude. I don't know if I have a low attention span or what, but I can't 1v1 Snappy. Who the fuck is Snappy? Get over here, bitch! Oh fuck, I forgot I'm Cap Can. Yeah, they're gonna be going through front entrance here. You already know it. That's a little double for him right there. Look, I'll do every fucking window, too. I'll do every window. Beep. Beep. One more. Beep. Who is Snappy? Chat, stop. Loading new mag. It's probably some guy that's really good at the game. And you're about to tell me to 1v1 him when I can't even play ranked and I'm fucking level 20. I've played the game in fucking three years. I don't want to peek that. I'm too scared. You're up front intro. There's two down there, two down here. He beat Jinxie? Why would I play him then? What the fuck was that? This guy's moving around too much. I feel like I gotta poop. Like two down there. Making me nervous. Above? Above? Oh my god. Yo, good fish, come over here. You might be able to see four someone under me. Alright. I'm smoke, by the way. Oh, uh, there's two there. My bad. Another fucker! This kid's ass at the game! This kid's ass at the game! But he just ran into his fucking death! God, I swear to God, if somebody tells me to 1v1 Snappy again, I'm gonna fucking peel my eyes out! I'm gonna pop it out of my head like it's a fucking pop socket! One up, four Fuck eight. off! Who's snappy? I got this last guy. Watch this. Swear to God, when I play this game, it's just fucking brain rot in my fucking chat. One Fuck! Operator Why don't we just start talking about how fucking funny Skibbity Toilet is or some shit? I fucking love Skibbity Toilet. Oh, me too, man. It's a fucking... It's comedy gold, dude. He wants to 1v1 you. He's gonna fucking fuck me, dude. Yeah, he's just he's gonna He's gonna like shove Brady. my yeah, head into a, there, the fucking toilet. I'm gonna die. I know I am. One, one, and one. That's called the triple crown. All right, now Thank people are saying Skibbity, Ohio, Wall Riz. Thing. Stop. Wow, Renly's victorious. Hostiles eliminated. Boom! Now I'm 1 1 and 2. 1 1 and 2. Top flag. Top flag chat. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I keep having voice cracks. Stop. Thought that shit would end, man. My god. I feel like I'm going to be having voice cracks forever. That's Capcan, number one NA. Number one NA, Capcan. Snappy know about that? Whoever the fuck's is Snappy live? He's watching your stream right now? Does Snappy know that being number one NA means you have to be the best cap can? Number one NA, best operator in the game, cap can. Look at that. Looks like that Call of Duty ghost camo. That was a great COD, by the way. It might have been an L take. I think Call of hey, Duty Joe, Ghost is one question. of the best. Protect the bombs. What's up? 
Someone's claiming you own Joe's uh, Crab Shack. Is that true? I own Joe's Crab Shack. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking sick, man. Bro, what's Joe's Crab Shack? Yo, I heard um, you're Nolan from. Mr. In the back I heard you're Nolan from Mr. Beast. Is that true? There's no way. Nolan from Mr. Beast is here. Yeah, that is Nolan from Mr. Beast, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's no way. That's uh, probably the first. Jimmy calls me his face. Hey! <laughs> Five seconds. Does he ever hit you? Let them come. Yeah, but in good ways. Oh, so it's consensual. Yeah, it's on some like freak shit. Like, I don't even and do that. I just like swung that. this room. There's nothing here. That I don't know this map. Yeah, we get pretty freaky over here. I feel like I'm gonna get sued now. Bunch on this window. Yo, my cap can got somebody. My cap can got somebody. Best you till NA. What they say Scaleless about me. Operator. Five four. <laughs> Bitch, I'm holding this by a nipple hair. It's Joe Well. That's a cap can kill. That's a cap can kill. I'm sneaking behind this twitch. Is that you? Font? Yeah, that was those. One of the ones still outside. Fawns are scaring me here, man. Sensor deployed. Yo, he's shooting? He might be. I don't know, he's just shooting me through a wall. He is shooting through walls right now. Oh my god. One op four remaining. Friendly last operator standing. <gasps> got Joe, he's right over there. Lock in, Joe, lock in. Just over there, Joe. Over yeah, there? right over, over there. there. Where? See, over yeah, here? right, right. Yeah, if you see. Yeah, if you, you just listen for his right footsteps right now. Yeah, right there. Oh my god, I gave you the perfect call oh, out. You're oh, fucking. Dude, oh my you god, you're it? fucking distracting me. <laughs> <laughs> those were good call-outs. I don't know what you're complaining about. No, those, those Dude, what'd you do? Me. I was literally pointing at my screen as well. I should have known. Oh my god. 1v1 snappy, 1v1 snappy. Dude, is he in my chat? Oh my god, he is in my chat. Hold up, let me follow him. Buddy doesn't even follow me. Weird. 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 <laughs> Weird. <laughs> it's okay, though. No, it's fine. Secure the area. Keep the bombs protected. Yo, why am I... Why am I playing Rook? That's who you chose. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's no fine. Way. Teammate steals everything. It's that okay. wasn't me, Miss Glick. That's okay. Scanning. What does this do? What does that do? What does those what do those do? Location compromised. Plan accordingly. Five seconds left. Op four has located a bomb. Be ready for hostile action. Like I don't, I, I don't, I don't know what any of these items are, bro. Motherfuckers just throwing shit down. Yeah, let's reinforce this wall. I don't even know what it does. Try to get the points up, though. Bro, it's for you. Uh, yeah. I am my perimeter. Yeah, oh, it's got it's got it's One's tagged heavy. Oh my god, I just stepped on my toe! Ah, 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 bitch! Reloading! Oh.
Oh my god. And then y'all say yacht when I show my ass. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Wait, it hurts like a fucking dead. Oh my god, Capcan's still alive. No one demos is coming in through the other door. Slim Zazy and Yabo for the sub less than the three. Snappy is the I am perimeter guy. Flying TKP, Spurks, Pug for the sub, Sensor Ross for the three. Where can I get a discount off G Fuel? I'm not partnering with G Fuel anymore. I'm butt for the sub, Lerba for the three. Ow, yo, that fucking hurts. Chad, how good is Snappy, though? Ah, fuck. Like, number one NA good? Like, number one Capcan NA good? He beat Jinxie. Why didn't he shoot that? He's got patience. You transfer over to Brady here. 31 health lesion. Not looking good. Friendly last operator standing. 1v2. Winnable. Winnable scenario. Wow. Last stop standing. Winnable. Yeah, he's right there. What? Yeah, he's over there. Were eliminated. I Joe, those were terrible calls. I heard him too. I yeah, heard him seriously. too. No lie, dude. Just throw him. If that, was me, if like that was me, I would have been on his ass the second he turned that corner. Pause? What do you mean by that? Which one's good for uh lion? Chat. Which one which gun's best? SMG B308 Like what's like a good sight, dude? Fuck, man. Uh, Dominator for the sub moth for the three. Sorry for asking about the eclipse, dude. You don't have to apologize dude, about that. Your drone to locate a bomb. Joe and Snappy's a dream team. I don't know if I'm on. I don't know if I'm a dream team type yeah, of guy. Honestly, though, three, 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 and three. They call me the hat trick in this game. You know, that is my nickname. That was my nickname. That was my nickname in high school too. Hold up, let him cook. You might get an ace here. I'm not saying it's a bad drone. Has located a bomb. Yep, located the bombs there. Is that so? Yeah. Ten seconds to insertion. I stared at the eclipse for five hours, 37 minutes, and 52 five seconds. seconds oh, are you blind? Are you blind yet? You found a bomb. Make your way to its location. Don't scan it, red pings. And I get three of these fucking things that I can use on. Okay, how are they already fucking dead? Not even in the building yet. Thoughts on gun through here, chat. Bit of a risky play. I'm gonna say that's a bad idea. Watch this. Go and run! Joe! <laughs> Taking the bad guys. So yeah, ass. I'm there. so ass. I'm so ass. Bro, I don't understand this game. I don't understand this game. He's willing to teach you to play the game. Bro, I'm just gonna get fucked. Tell him I'll 1v1 him, but I need like I need like a bro, I need time to fucking train. Like I'm gonna do I already know I'm gonna lose either way, but like I at least wanna be able to get one kill, bro. If I get fucking pub stops, that's all friendly. He was behind you? 
Oh, I really damn. just team killed, dude. Yeah, sorry. I thought I called that out. My bad. Yeah, bro. You should have moved out of the grenade. Yeah, maybe you should yeah, you learn how to aim your coming. grenades, buddy. I didn't know it dipped that much. I thought my guy had a bit more of an arm on him, you know? It's maybe almost like, like there's a marker maybe more for like, it now, uh, Joe. Maybe more like a Tom he Brady. Use your eyesight! Maybe more like a Tom Brady. Thought he was kind of more like Tom Brady than maybe like, you know, like a, a weaker You're QB. Nathan Peterman. Yeah. Nathan Peterman. We're just throwing picks over here. <laughs> Snappy will train you. Yeah. Wait, hold up. What's up? Noticing a lot of comments about Snappy in your chat. Yeah. Is he? Are you gonna one v one him, or is he gonna join our stack? Um, hold up. Let me ask. <laughs> Should I one v one? He's gonna join. I could probably get a fifth in. We could Yo, full stack. Yo, on this. God though. He said Adam on desk. I kind of want to 1v1 him. Do you think you I could kill him once? Love you. Do you think I could I kill him once if I 1v1 him? I'm feeling that 1v1's gonna go you drone a certain direction. A certain direction? Yo, oh, Snappy, I what that direction 1v1 me. Thousand dollars. You can't shoot at me, though. <laughs> you can't shoot at me. He said either is fine, but he would rather teach you. Okay, that's fine. I could join. I'll uh I'll add him on Discord right when I'm done this we game. We run this, and then you do like a one v one or and then like some two v twos or one v ones or some shit. Geek ideas. It's all bot though. What I break in here, Rob. I like your idea, Noel. Big brother's coming in. Little scan. Exactly. Five. Easy money ways. Must recover the diffuser. I'm in. I'm in. It's that simple, chat. Oh, Legion's watching that door. It's fine. I smoke it out. He was in the other doorway, just standing. I need to lock in. Hold up. Launching tracking drone. The diffuser has been recovered. Bitch, where are they? Clear the area. I see you hiding. Oh my god, behind you, shut up. Oh! Jones dropping right I'm now. I'm using the last one, don't care. How do I get downstairs, chat? How do I get down there? Bro, I don't... How do I... The stairs? Where are they? Where are they? You want me to eavesdrop, but, uh... Oh, my God. Go through that door. Buddies can go through that door. Which door? This one? Huh? Door? How's that? Huh? Buddy, and it triggers the alarm too. That's crazy. Where am I, yo? There's the stairs. They're they're gonna fucking hear me now. We got 45 seconds. Spotted by a scan. Don't care. Get off of it! Oh! We're on frags, bitch. Where? Joe, I'm coming to your rescue. Thank you. W you know 15 seconds left. I can't get over the head. I... 10 seconds remaining. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, four last stops, chain. Five Eight. seconds. Where? We lost. Time expired. That's so trash. That's so trash. Good trash. That's so trash. Honestly, I think the guy was hacking because I was moving slower. Oh my That's god, so Gabe for the three. Get some, got some good total eclipse pictures. Honestly, I, I sent. I'm not gonna look at him. I, I've seen so many solar eclipse pictures. I, I, I don't need to see anymore. 
1v1 snappy. Okay, 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 okay. What is his Discord? Somebody found a rat in a Rolani drink? Yeah, I know. It's the same one, too. I sh that's why I shook it. You think there's a dead rat in here? Let me look. Nah. I think I'd throw up if I uh, saw a fucking rat in my drink that I was currently drinking. What is his Discord? He said Adam on Discord. What's his Discord? Hold up. Let me look up his Twitch. Uh, uh, invite you? Okay. Uh, is East US okay with you? I'll make it just a short little. Because we can. Oops, 15 seconds is fine. We oh can do God, like best of uh, three, but we can do the other match in like a week or something. Like in a few days, just depends. On the... How do I add him? Want to play Joe? Yeah, 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 tell Joe to add my Discord. Hold on. Oozy, oozy, oozy. Hold on. I'm making sure I don't have any, like, whack settings. Everything should be okay. He wants you to add his Discord. Uh, dickhead, I know. Do, uh, do my chatters hey, listen to me? Everything should be okay. Is he still okay, Uzi? He's gonna piss you off? How? He knows I suck. Am I suck. playing Uzi? Yeah, but I'm gonna play with uh, does he talk Joe shit? after. Is Joe... Does he know my Discord? I don't know his Discord. And Uzi, do you have me on Discord? La la la. <laughs> oh, you're in my Discord. Okay, hold on. Once I join the VC, I have to fix my whole thing. Give me a minute. Oh my god, just let me know when he sends the Discord. We're gonna queue another, because I think he's doing 1v1 right now. Yo, uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. Dude, no one, no one left. I think he... I don't know if he DC'd well, no, he, or... no, he's streaming, so I mean, if I'm doing the 1v1, I don't, I don't want to, like, hold up his time. Okay. Um, but I'm just trying to see if... Uh, I, I don't know what his Discord is. Invite back? Oh, no, he said invite back. Alright. Don't start another one? Why? His Discord is just snappy? Let me look. How do you spell it? Just snappy, chat? There's no shot he is the user just snappy. It's just his name. It's his Twitch user. How do you spell his Twitch user? Oh, Snapey? S-N-A-P-I-Y-Y. I sent it. All right. Let me know I added him. Chat, I'm going to go piss real quick. Count me down 30 seconds, bro. How long does a 1v1 take? Could I queue another game with, uh, like, Nolan and Brady first? Or is he playing somebody else? Because if he's playing somebody else, I'm going to queue on. Bro shouting out his own stream in my chat. Somebody ban that kid. Tell like him 20 minutes. We'll play after. Oh, I hear him. He's watching my stream. This is always awkward when another streamer's watching me. Oh, I hear him. Oops. Uh, yeah, yeah, tell him to uh, <laughs> Q1. We'll play after. Okay. We'll Q1. We'll Q1. He said, oops. <laughs> Bro's just watching me on his phone. All right, hold up. Yo, you ready to queue? Yes, sir. All right, I'll pee, I'll, I'll pee after this. I'm running this, and then I got a 1v1 snappy. 
You better win. I put my whole bank you account. Put your, you put your, no shot you put any amount of money or channel points. I would not put any schmeckle on me on this I 1v1. put all $500 to my name on this 1v1. You better win. Or the return rate, if this was like a casino sports bet, it would be $500 on your bet. You'd probably win like 50 grand. That's what I'm hoping. I don't even know. Dude, he's just going to run in and kill me. That's how it's going to be every time. You got to go pee. I'll go pee right after this. Yo, team, how we doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Microwave. Joe, we played We played like four days ago, Joe. No microwave. way. Microwave. Oh, this guy oh, definitely used I, I think I played with you. What, was yeah, I we did. We did. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I played with him when I was with my friends at 2 a.m. Yeah, bro, let's cook, let's cook. What? I, uh, I didn't even realize that you streamed, bro. I just tuned in. Secure the area. Dude, that's Keep fucking the hilarious. Yo, I he, know, bro. He literally played with me and my yeah, friends yo, at like you 2 a.m. Yo, you gonna snappy? Yeah, probably gonna lose. Yeah, yeah no, you kinda got in my way. Lose. Yeah, you maybe got in my way. Do you ever think about bro, that? I oh, realized, I, I thought that maybe you were like... Because I tried to add you, like add all you guys, and you, you had a friend request off. Yeah, I had my friend request off. You're good, you're good. I, 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 just thought it, I, just, I, I was like, wow, bro. Yo, no, no one, I also added you uh, in that JoJo guy. That guy was fun. Oh my god, sorry. Oh wait, no, I didn't play with him on stream. We did play with him on stream. I know you always blush, bro. That's yeah, the one thing Okay, I also fart too. I remember I'm, I'm, there was I'm, another I'm, I'm, kid I played with uh, when I four stacked with my friends. I think his. Uh, Joe, if you want to learn how to play Castle, because I've been watching your stream for, like the past like uh, like hour, uh, place it on like areas where they can come into sight. All right. Yeah, you got it. I need a better scope, dude. The, the, the windows on the other side. Right there, right there. Good shit. Oh, fuck. Another one, one up top. Yo, my fault, my fault, man. I didn't realize that guy came out. What the hell is this scope? I need to change it. Backs for the three. What's the best water brand? Chat, what's the best fucking water brand? I don't know. I'll drink Watch like, fuck, like that spring hell. water. Why does what this is guy it? call Poland, me a hoe? Poland spring, something spring. Yeah, that's the only water I drink. I mean, if it's not tap water, I'm either drinking tap water or I'm drinking Poland spring bottled water. I'll have a Dasani at an fuck! airport. I'll have a Dasani or a smart water. I fuck with smart water. Smart water pretty is clutch, pretty chill. Clutch. Smart water, I'll have at an airport. You know, a little, I'll fucking treat myself to a $20 fucking eight ounce bottle of smart water. Fiji water. I fucking hate when people drink Fiji water. It makes me think you think. I think people that drink Fiji water think they're better than everyone. One up, four remaining. Like, if you, if you just casually got Fiji water at your house, you think you're like the shit. They do, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's just fucking... You're just spending extra money on fucking water, bro. Voss? I've never had Voss water. It's just so expensive. When it comes to that cool bottle, though. Dasani's horrible. Yeah, it tastes like salt water. It tastes like lake water mixed with salt water. Liquid death is fire. Liquid death is good water. But if I'm, if I'm drinking Liquid Death, I'm not just drinking their water. I'm going to drink the fucking sparkling water they have. I got to stop drinking this caffeine drink. I fucking feel it in my eyes, dude. No, oh, I wouldn't salt take that. A lot of water does. You guys ever have black water? That shit tastes terrible. Don't worry. I just cooked his ass. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, good shit. Oh, my God. Good shit, bro. Why no MC Monday? We don't do MC Monday anymore once I've done the the uh, okay. server. Right. Like, I already finished the modded world that just, we did. Just don't mention it. So we usually we'll run MC for, yeah. for, like, November I don't to, I think he has his chat off. like, March. Um, In my 
Outside of that, I mean, I really just... Uh, I'll do, like, block wars tournaments. I, I got a Twitch bro, Rivals event in, like, two weeks. That's, like, four days straight of just straight Minecraft. Uh, I might join... What should I... Chat, Honestly, do you I think it's too late to join the SDMP with, like, Jschlat? I believe it, too. I could I think, join I it. I just like know I'm not going to play it a lot. Like, like, I was I thinking I might do... I might do, like, one or two Reinforce some of my body parts, you know? That's how you make Get the BB out. Get the BB out. Because I know they're, like, everybody's, like, maxed out. They're not maxed out. Everybody's, like, popping off in it, though. But it is really just a content server. So I'd probably, I'd probably join it, but I wouldn't play it. Bro, y'all down to run more games though? I know Joe has to go play Docky, dog. I'm down. Join it? I will one day. Uh, but I don't play. Bomb location compromised. Plan accordingly. I don't play Minecraft on uh, every Monday. On every day. Like only on uh, certain no. days. Give me a million dollars. dollars. I only play Minecraft on um, uh, Mondays like, uh, every Monday yeah, when it's flash. like November through March. Yeah, five seconds. Yes, we're going to open the door. So we just don't need to gamble all your money. Is it Monday in yeah, the US? Yeah, I put fifty dollars yeah. on live yesterday. I lost that shit. Love you. Never give up. Don't worry though. It was in Cookie Clicker. Or it was in Case Clicker though. So don't. Buddy, just blast uh, through two fucking they, walls. Oh, and there's Nyana coming. Where's she coming? Pause. Pause. Uh. Loading new mag. There might be one upstairs on me. This is a bad angle, chap. Joe, you were selling me fentanyl earlier? No, I wasn't. Don't say that. Ash dead. Another one. Where microwave? Uh, they're all upstairs on top stairs. I got double peek, my bad. I would've got them. Don't worry, I got this. They're all upstairs, you say? Going one, one on five ping, coming in the side. What the fuck was that? Yo, Ready, what was that? Oh, uh, that was the, uh... Uh, a fuse charge. Yeah. If you hear that, just run. Or don't. Yeah, you could probably just... Let that. <laughs> One up, four remaining. Yeah, that was a good. That was a good util throughout that, right? Deploying sensor. Where are they? He's close right to where you're holding. Uh, everybody, he's, he's in server. What? He's, uh, he's in server room. Like the door Joe's holding, he's close right. Yeah, no one is. Or ready right there. That. Where did he go? What the fuck? What the fuck? I watched this swinger be sw swinger be swung. He can teleport. Swung, baby. He can he fucking teleport. <laughs> I fucking peeked while reloading. I'm it was goated. a clone. He w he was a clone. What do you mean? Yo, he, he might can actually, fucking uh, teleport, though, dude. He fucking he three round time. What is this uh, fucking Back to the shit, future. Brady. It was a clone. He can clone himself. Hello, we're goaded. Honestly. How am I supposed to know? Last time I sold, I won't do Sneak that. Sneak made me a room in the MC server. Dude, I'm gonna join. I just don't know how often. I'm like, Sneak plays that shit like every day. Like, I'm probably gonna play that like once every other week. Scurvy for the sub. Should I join the SDMP this Thursday? Would you guys rather me join the SDMP before I play Hoophobia this Thursday or Fortnite? Hi, Hulk, uh, Buster Plush. Mods, run a poll on that. Because I could run it. I was probably going to do oh, Fortnite oh, wait, for like two hours and then Jager, Phobia and Scary good, Games. I could run the SDMP first. Yeah, well, I got black eyes for him. Dumb. Mods, Dumb. run a poll. Is it possible for me to join you? No. All Young I had to do was sacrifice my firstborn. Um, backs for the three. I already read that. This Thursday, I could do it. Is Joe even able to talk in I game right now? I, I do not know. I think he's really locked in. 
I'm talking to my chat. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Bomb core has located a bomb. Plan your defenses accordingly. Can we do content warning this Wednesday no, or Thursday? No, they make it more should be a two. You and Joe are snappy. Wait, Honestly, huh? that would make it so fair. Like I'll go, dude, I told Joe, 1v1 me, thousand dollar wager, I have to take five blinkers before the 1v1. Five That's so... I think that would be more fair. Uh, yeah, that would be more fair. Op 4 has located a bomb. Get ready to engage. Okay, maybe not five, but like three? At least two. At least two. I, I'll, I'll easily do two. Where are the other mods? Wager. I have no idea. When you quit TikTok, are you gonna quit streaming? Dude, I already stopped uh, doing know, TikTok as much as I normally do. And no, when I quit TikTok, I'm not gonna quit streaming. I already post way less. Like, I post one, maybe two videos a day. And if I post two videos a day, one of them's a TikTok clip. Right. Hey, if you can tell me where they are, I can activate my ability on them. They're over there. Five. On me. On me. Loading mag. See that shit. shit. Fuck! Another Fuck! Out. That was almost a good play, though. That was almost a good play. Yo, Cap, can I destroy the gadget? Alright, I might be cooked. Don't worry, I didn't let them get the kill. <laughs> good shit, Nolan, good shit. I voted you not TK. You good. Dub dub. I already have too many penalties. No way, for real. Alright, Joe went to take a piss. Alright, Joe's chat, watch me lock in. I think I could get away with saying hi, Joe's chat. No, it's illegal. Okay. Well, You'll actually be arrested within 10 minutes. <laughs> no! <sighs> hey, where are they, by the way? One outside window. Yo, run that poll oh, back yeah, one more time. The... I want to see. I just want to make sure. Chat, vote on the poll. Only fucking 500 people voted on it. There's 4,000 people here. Which do we do Thursday? This is before Hoophobia and... um. Uh, like scary games like content warning. Uh, we're running that with fucking Sneak and them. What should we do Thursday? SDMP server or, um, Fortnite? Vote. Are you off tomorrow? Yeah, I have to. I have so much shit I have to do tomorrow with college and then also, um, fuck. the next, like, idea, like, food tasting video that we're doing, I'm gonna be trying every Lunchables oh flavor. Oh my god! Shit! And there's like, Second. fucking, there's probably Yo, like 10, 10 or 15, like but I have to go to a, I have to go to like 10 different stores and buy them because like, they don't have them online and all this other Yo, shit. Yo, Joe's so mods, ban them. Ban, 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 ban them from the chat. Ban from the chat. I'm gonna be running, um, Bans off. when's Doki Doki when we're done, Rainbow? We can't vote on it? The poll doesn't work? No, it works. There's people voting on it. But, um, yeah, no, I, like, tomorrow I gotta, I'm not gonna be live just because I'm normally not live on Tuesdays. That's usually when I get, like, off, off cam stuff done that I need to get on stream. Like, I schedule my streams, I do all that stuff on Tuesdays. Contrary for the sub. Is Joe 1v1ing Snappy after this game or, uh, later? After this game, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure, yeah. Are you guys just gonna watch? No, I'll probably. Okay. Quit. All right. Oh, All right. I didn't even say that shit. Music. I didn't even say that shit in chat, and he already knows. Yeah. What the fuck? We didn't. None of us even said it. Wait, Joe v Snappy. Yeah, I'm gonna go against Snappy. Kachru for the sub. Snappy's ready. Well, we only have like Yo, what two more uh, rounds. Did we just caught this man uh, red-handed? We need to locate a bomb. We, I think we just. I have no idea what they're talking about. What are y'all talking about? Zoffin is stream sniping. Yeah, this guy's definitely stream sniping. 
Do you we were saying that? in the call how we think he's stream sniping, and then he randomly texted the thing. I'm not. Yeah, and he was like, guys, I'm not stream sniping. I'm not stream sniping. I can't beat to the. I'm not Bro was saying. Well, wait, listen. This guy said he droned us and heard our conversation on his drone. Hold up. No, man. wait. Is, is this guy for real? What is he smoking? I need it. 10 seconds. No, bro, you actually hear the anime team trust. on your drone? Uh, no, no, you can't. So it's full like of <laughs> no. He's yapping. Proceed to bomb location and defuse it. Alright, yeah, that's a better scope. When are we playing Doki? Again, after I'm done playing Rainbow. We will play it. I don't know when exactly. I don't have a hard fucking set time on, oh, I gotta get out of the game. We gotta play fucking Doki. I'm definitely jumping in that one over there. I'm gonna be making my way over. Best believe it. Watch this. How do I flip? There's no dudes in there, we're good. Watch this. Fuck! Alright, I'm going down. You think I tagged him there, chat? I think I tagged him. Can I go through that? A lot of shit. I don't know what's going on in my face right now. Where? Where? Where did he go? Oh my fucking god, bro. Yo, and motherfucker said I need to use this fucking zoomed in ass ACOG site, bitch. I'm about to just fucking pop on an iron site. I'm about to no free aim this bitch. I'm about to fucking hip fire rush these motherfuckers. The oh my god, I shoot at him and I get fucking no damage. I do jack shit. One in B side. Uh, iron sights are for pros. Operator standing. Yo, somebody, somebody time out blue Ferrari for the rest of the stream. Buddy, I'm playing Snappy right when this game's done. I'm gonna I'm fucking really lose it. Us, play Snappy, yeah. play, bitch, hey, I am. I'm mid-game. Yo, yeah, see, dude? We're just, um. Yeah, bro, it's just, it's yeah, we're there. Nice. I'm just having a bad game right now. I'm having a bad game, that's all it is. It's okay, Joe, it's okay, it's okay. I am too, bro. Every single time I play with y'all, I go, like, even. It seems pretty Still consistent. doing better than Nolan, though. Somebody Yo, the shut up. Yo. Yo, That's I, crazy. I'm not sober. I hate being sober, like Chief Keith once said. Dude, I ate an edible last night, and I woke up this morning, and swear to God, I felt like I got flashbang, dude. Like I was sitting swear. there like a haze. It was got like how many so milligrams? You got hit with the yin candela? You got hit with the candela? Oh my God. How many milligrams was it? You don't want to know. It wasn't a lot. Dude, the worst I've ever done. Saw two for Jack. Dude, the worst I've ever done milligrams. was... Worst I've ever done was 3,500. I've done that. That that's was horrifying. 3,500. You say 3,500. 3,500. That, that, that shit wasn't like a medical edible. That was like a fucking... Like a gas station. Dude, it, it, was, it was fun. It was fun at first until it wasn't fun. <laughs> where it lasted like eight hours. It lasted eight hours? I've heard people that yeah, have been high bad. for like two days off of eating shit like that. Is that real? No way you can get high. Yeah, if you, if it's in your bomb. system, I, like if you eat like a two, if I had a two thousand milligram edible, I think I'd be high for two days. Yeah. So imagine greening out on that, but it's like ten it times worse stop. than normal. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it just doesn't. It was stop. awful. It was the worst. I never again. Just throwing up bile for like four hours. Frost is hard okay. watching. Right. He's cheating, yeah. bro. Yeah. That sucks, bro. Hulkbuster, we win these. What do we do about that? Yeah, Hulkbuster's the only guy you can't affect. Hulkbuster, watch this shit. It's crazy how I'm just rushing oh, the flat. fucking gates here. Hey, uh, Joe, hit line real quick. Hit the lines. Drone going out. We're not even typing in chat and he's responding to us, bro. And I hit it with him again. Right when they let me. Joe, hit the line scan when you're about to like enter site or something. 
drawn out. Oh my god. How do I get downstairs? I gotta go this way. Oh, you should create a, a, a false name. Yeah, like nut stain. Yeah, like a. <laughs> yeah, sure, that works. Oh my god. Is that a staircase? Alright, this guy's just yapping now. He's trying to, he's trying to cover it up. Activating cell sequence. You could probably need it. Dude, how do I get downstairs? How do I get downstairs, dude? Hulkbuster, watch blue stairs. Sending my drone out. No, there's somebody deep inside that room. Oh, good line scan, bro. Blocked in. Oh my god. Oh, Yo, my microwave, god, you got it. Go in. Microwave, go forward. Alright, that's my fault. I didn't check. Okay, he's so always in that room that I died. No. Good shit! Good shit, Joe! My god, I feel like my hands are turning red. I'm on fire. Fuck! 4-4, four four, chat. 4-4! Four four. Let's go, Joe. Alright, bro, y'all down to play again? Oh, wait, do that's I stay? Well, I mean, I'm down to play. Alright, add me back, add me back. Let's go. I love you too, Hulk, uh, Buster, Plush. Yeah, add me, Brady. But he has fucking yeah, we love you, uh, we love black you. ice or whatever him. it is. He was positive and level-headed. My grave's pretty chill. Pretty, I have you added. I just need to know. Yeah, watch yeah, this, chat. I get the pack too. That right, means right, I'm gonna right. be okay. Never mind. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Dominator for the three. Look up the Oyo nut ad later. No, CD for the three. That just that sounds awful. I hit my. I hit one of my friend's $20 disposables, passed out when I left class, had to go to the nurse, nurse's office, uh, passed out in the bathroom for an hour. Wow. Clear Kotru and Ek for the sub, PRX, uh, and Scurvy for the sub. Ugh, okay, hold up. Did Snappy add me back? And where the fuck is this motherfucker at? Is his name Lord Hipfire? I don't think that's him. Is that him? Let me check. I'm on this. Screen. All right. Um. All right, Joe. Wait, is Joe Donovan's team? Mm -hmm. Hold on. That's got. It's got to be a troll. His Discord is snappy. Yeah, but I don't know if this is him. It must be. I'm getting trolled. Hold up, hold up. Alright, um... Hold on. Is Joe here? Joe Mama. Joe's in stream? Joe, Joe, Joe. <laughs> Wait, what's Joe's uh, Discord? I figure I added him. I added you, I think. La la la. I <laughs> gassed over now. All right. Um. What's Joe's Discord? Joe, Joe, Joe. Joe, Joe, Joe. Lord Hipfire Wait. is him. I'm Me gonna say here. is this. I don't want to say is this snappy. Joe Bart? Is that him? <laughs> All right. Oh, it is him. Okay, hold up. It is him. It is him. Yo, hello. What's up, big dog? Yo. What's up? How you liking Siege? Uh, it's pretty fucking hard, but you know, I think I'll uh, get a handle of it sometime. No, you got it. You got it. You got it. Uh, what do you? Could you send your Ubisoft here so I could add you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. There you go. Are you an Are you a champion? Is that the highest rank in the game? It it's the highest rank, yeah. yeah. Did he get it's, that? 
Yeah, but I mean, and a lot of people can just hit champion. You know what I mean? Like if you if you spend like all season, you'll get it. I believe in you. Uh, I don't think that I don't think it's that simple. I don't think I could just you, uh, got it. you know play the game for a season, be champion. You got it. You get those sit-ups in, those crunches, you got those it. Sit-ups in? Yep. Hold on. All right, you're so Joe. Dot we're one v oneing. Sure. You're gonna shit on me. No. I just got, I just got uh, walked like a dog by the last try one v one. Yeah, but he's you probably good as fuck. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I invited you. Uh, give me a moment to let me show my screen again. I have to fix my game as well. I accepted. Do, 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 do. Hold on. I'm my perimeter. Um, V1 for the sub, high for the five. You're my favorite creator. Tips for new creators. Uh, uh, Mr. Man for the sub. Uh, oh, just see what works, man. You gotta so kind of fucking spread ads. yourself out a little bit. Hold see what on. works. Work with that. Oh, you're in my game. Go on okay. short, uh, all right, short all right, term right. first. Then do you want defense term. first? Um... Which one's, e like, in your opinion, which one would be better for me? Defense. To killing defense you. Is, killing defense you would be is... easier if I'm on defense? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll go defense first. Hold on. I gotta fix Cousin for the sub, uh, Vinx for the um, three, Jay for the sub. And do you know how bans work? Uh, no, not at all. Alright, so, when you ban an operator, the other team can't play it, so. Oh, really? What do you mean? <laughs> I feel like you're gonna lie to me here. I think you're gonna tell me you made somebody that you don't. Ah, oh, sheesh. What should what should I say, Chad? Should I be should I should I tell the truth? They're saying you they're saying you play Ash and Blitz. No, 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 why? <laughs> oh, not. Uh, you play Ash. Uh, oh. uh... D decide on your bands now, though, because I have the ban phase really short, so... Because it'll run out of time if Do you... Do I ban one on attack and one on defense? Yeah, you get you get to ban one on attack, one on defense. Yeah. Okay. And I do as well. I'm ready. Okay. You swear to God, he's about to ban Cap. Joe Bart. This is about to be awful. <laughs> oh my God. What do we play to? Is it first to uh, four, first to three? Uh, I'm not sure what I have it on. I think I have it to six. nine seconds. Yeah, I. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro. Ben Doc. Oh my god. All right, I'll ban. What do I ban against him on attack? No, don't tell them. Don't tell them. What him. do I ban? Guys, I have like five. I have like five operators. Shit. All right, all right, all right. No ban then. Lion. Ah, that's whatever it is. Lion's fine. Uh, I just... Oh, you don't have Fenrir, do you? Okay. Uh, Doc. <laughs> no, 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 no. Shit. There we go. No! Are you fucking kidding me, bro? <laughs> That's like the only guy I know how to play. Oh my god, I forget what they said to ban. Uh, Smoke. They said her bandit. Oh my god, Look. I didn't ban anybody. <laughs> womp womp. It's fine. Oh I man, oh man, out. oh man. I got one out. All right, all right, all right. Hold up, I gotta consult my chat. What the fuck do Blitz, I play now? You guys now? want me to... Wait, should we do a uh, no-fail RP for this round? Uh, I don't chat? Even, I, don't even, I don't even know what that means. No-fail roleplay? I'm telling you this, chat right now. Uh, all right, yeah, yeah. Do not go gentle into that good night. All right. Oh my god. Knife, knife only? Yeah, I got you this round, knife only. Protect the bombs. I'm going to get fried because of you I'm guys. Gonna, I'm going to keep it real. I didn't even pick Ten an operator, left. so it just all those defaulted and gave me one. Oh, shit. Where'd you go? Where's Sight? It'll stay on your compass at the bottom. That's how you can learn callouts as well. Like, right above your compass, it will say uh, what room you're in. Oh, really? I'm not going to tell you that. I don't know. <laughs> Why would I tell you to find Sight? Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to pray. Yeah, you gotta FBI! Sight. Don't move! Show me your hands! Wait, are you already Do running? Do not move! We gotta find this hostile oh and we gotta sort God. the fucker up. Move him! FBI! Nah, I'm really Come confident. with your hands in the air! On God's green earth did I'm you not go? Moving. I'm not moving once. I'm gonna be dead. Oh, found it. FBI! Nobody move! 
We got some sort of bomb operation going on here. Calling for backup. Need extra units. I'm pushing forward. Stop. I hear you. You do not move! Shit! Stop to run to shield with your hands in the air! Do not move! Do not move! Do not move! Oh no! No! Were you gonna try and melee me to death? My chat says I'm already doing better than Jinxie. Joe's champ? I know Joe's champ. He's like a 10-time champ pretending to be new. I'm getting set up today. Something's going on. <sighs> All right, who, who put you up to this, Oh, Joe? I attack now? Oh, it just switches every time? To locate oh, a bomb. Yeah. Huh. All right, you know, I think you should tell me where you are. <laughs> no. Even though it's not, I, if you told me where you were, I still don't think. Like if you were like I'm in kitchen, I don't know where that is. I, I'm, I'm top. I'm top. I'm top. To locate and defuse a bomb. Top floor. Top top. Where the Very hell top. Am I? You're in junkyard. How do you know I'm in junkyard? <laughs> Magic. <laughs> you old bamboozle. You just heard me break something. I bet. You just heard uh, me break something so again. Not in person, but I did hear it in a way. You just heard me break something again. Where am I, though? Who knows? Only time will figure it out. Are you in a repel? No. <laughs> All right. If you promise you're not. No. Oh. Moving. Copy. Cover fire. Be back I'm over here now. I'm drowning. Oh. No, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, you didn't see me. 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 Let me find. No, let me get another spot. All right. You didn't see me. No, no, no. Let me find another spot. You didn't see me. You didn't see me. All right. Oh shit! One tap. Good fire. I just flashed myself. Don't put. I can't see. I can't I'm blind. see. I'm blind. No. Oh jeez. What? Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. See ya. Stop. Oh my See god! Ya. Oh! oh. <laughs> Call the chopper. I'm ready for you back. What champ was that? Last season. Last season? Yeah. Last Nothing. season. Yesterday? What? Tomorrow? Chat, where's the best spot to The day go after though? tomorrow. Uh. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. I know what I'm use, doing. Yeah, yeah, I'll use them. I'll use them. I know what I'm doing. All styled yeah, down. Yeah, Evac yeah, inbound yeah. ETA. <laughs> two minutes out. Intel yeah, states you got a hostile parked up in a building. We call it Oregon. Your job is to sort the fucker out and leave no survivors. You're like talking about this like you're playing ready or not. I need back over here. Where's my team? Guys, push with me. Oh my god, I just fucking shot. No, I, I drone sight anyway. I know where you are now. One tap. You drone sight. I hear you. Oops, I'm stuttering. Uh, now I have no idea where you are. What the fuck? Wait, I think I I, I think I just got. I, I think my game's frozen. Can you shoot? No. <laughs> Why not? Can you hear me if I crouch walk? Um, I don't know. Let's try it. Oh my god. I wonder where you could be. Oh shit, you're not where I thought you were. Okay. Oh wait, sight is. Oh my god. Did you plant a bomb? Yo, you're like fucking Harry Houdini me right now. Like, where the fuck did you go? The goblins are coming. 
The goblins are coming. Oh my god! Look above. I'm not looking above. It's Superman! Oh shit! Oh my god, you see me! How do you see me? I don't see you! How do you see me? Oh, okay, Joe, what's going on? <laughs> I know you're. Who's see, giving them call out? Who's trolling. telling them where I am? I'm not. Who's telling, telling them where I am? I just knew you were because you're fucking with me. I know you're not going to be where I think you are. Uh, okay. Yo, I'm up right now. I'm technically. You can win this. I'm you technically this. doing better than you're you. You're to locate a bomb. Hey, that's not nice, Joe. We're doing it equal. Ten seconds to go. Together forever. Five seconds to insertion. You and me, we shall and see. And defuse a bomb. Till the end of time, baby. You want to tell me where you are? Yeah, sure, top floor. I'm in trophy right now. Going in dorms? No, you're not. Okay. <laughs> You're not in. What do you mean? I am in. Whoa. In what? <laughs> Why are you lying? A little lion scan for the vibes. You stood still. You're not supposed to stand still when I do that. For thou shalt not fear, in the eyes of the mighty Lord shall he show me the way. By the eyes of the mighty Lord, give me the strength that I call upon you. Oh. Oh no! Alright. Are you guys, stop telling them where I am! Are you, are you trying? I am. And you're winning. <laughs> I'm not. You're gonna be an amazing player at this game. I don't think I am. You are. Oh. Pretty live. Go live. I am live right now. Protect the bombs. Uh, we're 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 sight sight onto drone. Pretty please. Ten seconds. I'm in meeting hall. Okay. Five seconds and counting. You must protect your bombs from being defused by Op 4. Take me away, I'm strong, say the bomb in the town with your knives, I'm the world of waiting, drive a mind of my mind, I could tell you love me in the town with my mind. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> oh my god. Suspect apprehended. Oh my god, Hands I can be so Hold Hands up, I'm racing, I'm racing, I'm racing. Hands be in your back. Fuck. Don't move! Uh, him bend it back! Wow. Just about to apprehend I'm still up. I'm still up. You got this. Now I'm on defense. Wait, no, I'm not. Fuck. Now I'm on offense. I got a little bonus round action going right now. <laughs> Who, who's your favorite operator? Uh, like, I so only far, know like five of them. Sledge is pretty it. cool. You know, I heard Capcan's the best operator. <laughs> Capcan's my arch nemesis. Insertion in 10 seconds. No, uh, the shotgun the on Sledge is really good, but uh, the, the assault is. Operator? Oh. Uh. Is I mean. A bomb. None are. There's no worst, but the most. I mean, I never play like Clash, you know, I don't play Clash, but it's useful, it can be, but... Maybe... Right. I don't know, I'm not a support player. I don't, I don't drone, I don't, you know... Useless... Yeah, useless... I mean, Glass is pretty useless, to be honest. Un unless you're like holding smoke plant, but that people don't really do that Are you sure? too much. Are you... No, no. That's that's the ambient noise I think of the game, the, the the lobby. What the fuck? 
There are, um, there's like... Why, do you hear something? You okay? Something's going on over there? I have a plan here. The man with the plan. I am a man with the plan. Whether or not this plan works. Oh, it didn't. What in tarnation? Golly almighty, help me lord. Please, in these times of nearness. Oh shh, please. Yeah. I need back over here now, man. I have fire and pinned. Oh my god, I knew you were gonna sit behind that wall too. What do you play before this? What, what do you game? Mean? Like what game? Well, I don't main. Game? I don't main Rainbow. Uh, I I do variety shit. I just play like a million uh, fucking games. Like later today, I have to play this fucking the shitty ass love novel game that my chat <laughs> makes me play called uh, Doki Doki <laughs> Literature Club. I gotta voice the characters and shit. Five seconds I play insertion. Minecraft. I play fucking Valorant. I used to play, um... Like if I'm talking about games. Are you... Top, or...? One tap! No? Am I tripping? I'm tripping, okay. This is okay. last round, why would I tell you where I am? That's not last round, that's the same match right, point. I just, uh, I just grenaded myself. Does it say match point? I have I just it. I can't. Myself. I have 65 L. I think I just oh. threw. You got it. Are we in? Oh, we are. Same spot, huh? Oh. 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 He get one more time. Take it. By the eyes of my lord, shall he give me a one tap I deserve? <laughs> Grenade out. Yeah, yo, if I had that health though, that would have been a win. Okay, never mind. You fucking hit me in the head. Wait, what do we play to? Uh, it's, uh I, I think I have it on seven. First I'm not sure seven? though. Yeah, I think. Now, nah, so you gotta, you still have you lots of room teach to come me back. How to play one day, so I don't fucking suck. We need to locate a bomb. Well, re realistically, you're gonna want a drone a lot. I don't do that though. I'm not really much of a. I don't like it. I like having fun, but. Uh, eh. no, I feel like droning mid game is just boring. It is. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel. But... Down, fucking... oh my God. Let me like drown out this room real quick, you know? I know. You gotta get in there, John Wick. Oh, I'm top of my bed. Top of dorms. Top dorms? Yeah. Like, uh, okay, so top floor is uh, the main room you've been pushing is dorms. You repelled nets to breach right now. That room is called, uh, yeah, game room. I don't yeah, even know uh, my own uh, call out, so uh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, what? Game room. I always call this all dorms. I don't say specifically. So you're in there. Uh, I'm in the uh, kids now. Yeah, you're fucking. You have a bunch of stuff right now. It's not now. It's not now. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, Who's boy. giving them call out? Someone's telling him where I am. I saw you crawl over there. Right, right. And Santa Claus is sitting right next to me right now. Oh, ho, he ho. Might be. He might be. All right, I'm going to switch it up this time. Oh, ho, ho. You are my sunshine. My, my only sunshine. Secure the bombs. 
Put back. Oh, do you guys want 22.5 minutes of ads per hour? Yeah, Is that what you... Put back. My, my viewers want me to do uh, oh, 20 minutes of ads an hour. Yeah. yeah. Like, I bet they're begging for you to run more ads right now. <laughs> Where, uh, do you mind telling me where site is, or are you... You're probably kitchen the same again. Oh, yeah, yeah, You know I'm hunkering down site right now, some may say. Not if I one-tap you. Oh. oh! Nope. I hear you. As we see here, a man and his family. Shut it! One tap almost. Frag out! Oh my god! Yo, I tried to throw a C4 at your you. head. Bro's using glaze. Glaze. Glazed donuts. Match point? And I'm on attack? Yeah, it's done for. Oh, we, we, we can do best of uh, two if you want. We, you can choose the map. No, best of three. I don't, I don't, I don't, know, any, I don't know any of the fucking maps. Wait, you, I saw you playing bank on stream earlier. That's the one where you were... Uh, like, oh. it's like a bank? Yeah. Do you yeah. like that map? Uh, no, that map's big as fuck. It stresses me out. Okay. <laughs> well, there's like clubhouse. It's like a clubhouse. Nah. Yeah, it's like a clubhouse. <laughs> and then what is this one? Barn? Or Oregon. Oh, Oregon? But, uh, Oregon? A bomb must be located yeah. And yeah. Oregon because it's in Oregon. Yeah. Bank because it's a bank. Cafe because it's a cafe. Skyscraper because it's a skyscraper. Now, well, now where are you? Top floor. Or, uh, dorm. We got it popping. Hallelujah. Am I even in the right building? I think I'm in the wrong fucking building. There's only one building. I'm in a barn. What? I'm in a barn right now. Can you bring me some, uh, wait. Some a eggs? Bar yeah, some eggs. I'd like, uh, some eggs, please. I hear you. Saw you there. As we see here, the mighty fox stands in position, ready for the hunt. A little ricochet. He's blind! Upshot it! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The Perimeter Man, in theater soon. Don't think it, don't say it, don't say it, don't think it. The Perimeter Man. No shot. I know you're lit. Longest range shotgun we got. Oh! Try one more time. We got this. Long range. Oh! My God! We're <laughs> lit. I know it. You must be. Smoke out! Yo, you could peek me if you're that good at the game, though. I'm not good. I'm a carried gold, and everyone makes fun of me for it. Does it hurt your feelings when they say that stuff? It does. You know, words can hurt, man. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you try to fucking shoot me there. <laughs> Sometimes I get sad. I thought we were having a heart to heart conversation. Oh my god, <laughs> what the hell? Do you... Oh! See ya! Five seconds remaining. Oh shit, fuck! Please. Oh, thank- Oh shit! Shit, shit, shit! Shit, 
shit, shit, shit, shit, shit, shit, shit, shit, shit, shit, shit, shit. Oh no 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 What did you do to this timer? What do you mean what I do to the timer? You planted like a super diffuser. I couldn't get it, there was no time! I did it instantly and I had no time! You planted a super diffuser. He, he encrypted the diffuser. You need to use your drone uh, to locate a bomb. What in tarnation? Ten but yeah, there's a... Uh, Wait, why like, am I uh, on attack again? <laughs> Overtime, baby. But uh, there's uh, there's favela. That's a pretty bad map, though. Uh, there's plane. It's a bad map. Fortress. I like it, but I don't. It's a bad map. What maps have you played? Probably all of them, but I don't know most of them. Are you in the same place? Yep. Okay. No well, that was quick. <laughs> uh, four eliminated all friendlies. Uh, nah, that was like a super diffuser. That was a close game now. That was a close game now. Some may say too close. <laughs> too close for comfort. Uh, uh, hold on. Four and seven there. That's not bad, don't. That's good. It isn't. Do you you want to do one more? I would do best one of, more uh... to like four, but then I get a hop right. on another game. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get you. Hold on. Uh, let me rehost. I have to. I have your, to rehost. I'm still in your lobby, right? I have to remake it. All right. To make it to four. Yeah. What uh? What map do you want? Um. What's the second best map? That was to uh, let me. Ch this should be the four. Uh, eight. Mm, maybe. Second best, I'll give you more pick uh, pick time as well so that you They're can think do about. Clubhouse. I'll do Clubhouse. I like Clubhouse. Clubhouse is good. But hold on. Um, I'll give you more time to think in the pick phase in the band so that you can actually decide. Uh, Clubhouse? Yeah, I got you. The Wimp leave for the sub, okay for the three. Ben for the thousand bunch of biddies. Right. Saw you on TikTok in 2020, been a fan ever since you've got me through some rough times. And today is my birthday. Happy birthday. Destiny for the three. But yeah. My friend Ducky is in the finals uh, SSL uh, tournament. That's dope. Fucking good luck to you. Shakespeare, basic, and super for the sub. Thanks for the three. I'm better you. You need to change scopes on most guns. Burger for the sub. John for the three. Uh, James do you want defense again? Uh, yeah, I'd start on defense. Anyway, to become mod. Uh, mods recommend you usually. It's just kind of random. Jay, cousin for the sub. Vinx for the three. Mister for the sub. Gary and V1 for the sub. Sorry, I was reading Denos. I'm joining right now. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I can't read Denos. I don't, I don't have another monitor, so when I see you it, I just see You have one monitor? It. Oh, yeah, I have one monitor, laptop, and then two phones for t uh, TikTok and uh, Twitch. Wow. Just because my old phone and well, you my can't read phone. on the laptop. Well, no, that's streaming to Twitch, or I mean to TikTok, so I can't. Nope. Damn, dude, I only have two okay. monitors. I know a lot of streamers that have like fucking four. I think that shit's useless, but I think three. Honestly, oh. three would be fucking nice, because when I have two, I have to have my Discord and my fucking stream up on one. So how do you read chat? On I got phone? uh, two phones. Oh. Yeah, two. One for TikTok, one for. Twitch. Are you new to streaming? No, I've been streaming for like seven years, maybe. Oh, this is my band phase. Yeah. Oh yeah, I gave you more seven, time. You've been streaming for seven years. Well, yeah, I started way back. I did some YouTube, but like Twitch, and then yeah, streaming streaming to myself for like <laughs> five years. But I did it for fun, right? So it's mm. it's okay. Yeah, but now you make uh, money on it. Yeah, why don't you run another uh, ad real quick? I think the viewers want to see another ad. No, I, I don't do that to those guys. I hold on. Oh, you don't want to. I run prefer people. B no, I, K. Have wait, it who? your way. I'll do no man. You're gonna know. We man. want ads. We want ads. Yeah, so that you you're free to play whoever you want. Now my chance uh, to run an ad. I'm not running a um, fucking ad. 
I'm not doing. I'm not dealing. Oh, you know what? You get cap can this time. I get cap can. Yes, you get cap can. <laughs> Rookie mistake. I don't remember the other one they told me to ban of yours. Uh, they wanted smoke or bandit. Yeah, but who did you play last time? Smoke. You're capping. Okay. <laughs> I only tell truth tales. I can't even fucking see it. I'm not even joking. I'm gonna probably get my legs blown off on every every attack. On around. every on every door. <laughs> Just gonna place one. Never seen me on Clubhouse. I like Clubhouse, but for 1v1s, Clubhouse is like kind of crazy. Move my phone to the extra table. Um, Why is Clubhouse sorry, crazy guys, for 1v1s? I'll watch TikTok chat. I'm just not used to it. Do you think your TikTok donos when somebody sends you uh, two cent rose? Always. Always, always, always. You Dude, gotta appreciate band, everybody. 69. Thanks for the rose, brother. Then you gotta do a little NPC, uh, little dance. Mmm, roses smell so good. Mmm, no, it smells so good. Mmm, mm, popcorn. Uh, do you want to tell each other where we go so we don't jump? Uh, I'm in bedroom. Light, just the floor. Jim, bedroom. Yeah, five seconds. I don't think I'm supposed to be walling between sides, but I'm Bomb down. Are secure. What do you mean? Oh, reinforcing? Yeah, uh, I mean, reinforce between sides, I right? I reinforce between sites sometimes, but teammates get a little bit upset with me. <laughs> Why are you reinforcing them? Uh oh. Nah, you're not supposed to do that. Moving, copy. Frag out. A bomb located by op four. What? Oh, you didn't actually do the whole thing. I'm shot it. Failed. Old <laughs> uh, yo, I know you're gonna be waiting for me too. Now I'm locked in. Now I'm locked in. I'm going dead silent this round. Actually, I'm on attack. Never mind. I'm not going dead silent. I'll go fucking dead silent when I'm on defense. Main gate. Uh, I'll go. I'll go CC for you. I like that site. CC is my favorite. Wow, wow, chicka, wow, wow, chicka, wow, wow. Now, there will be no cowardness. I'm risking it. I'm risking it. Matter, I'm risking it. What? What's up? Oh, is it a change, secret? Secret trap? To locate a bomb. Wait, where do you go? Uh, CCTV. The fuck does that even mean? Five seconds to go. Oh, that's the name of the room? Shit. Uh, yeah. Let's locate and defuse a bomb. All right, very good. I was a little bit worried, I'm but we're all good here. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm on perimeter, and my perimeter is me. And I shall not abandon my chopper gunner position until I'm properly relieved. I'm on the perimeter, and my perimeter is me. And I shall not abandon my post until I'm properly relieved. Nah, I'm not outside. I'm, it must be a bug or something. I'm on perimeter. Are you outside as well, still? Well, I'm trying to find you outside. Oh, are you coming for me? No! No! Uh, there, there'll be like a, an icon above me. You can see where I am. Yeah? Do you see where I am? Uh, no? that red icon? Yeah, that's me. I don't think it is. I feel like, I feel like you're fucking with me somehow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm hey. my perimeter. I only want to see I'm my perimeter in chat. What is it? If he plants, I'm gonna fucking lose. Oh shit! I will not go gentle in that good night! I shall fight my position until I'm properly relieved! Fight me like a man! Fight me! <laughs> There's nothing I could do! He planted! I was done for! Alright, I got next. I got next. I'm not tripping. Wait, 
like the bomb right, went off of... that fast? Do you have a sat to go off that fast? <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't mean to do that, but I just forgot to change it. So if you plant, you just win. Five seconds and counting. I had no chance. I was done. Bomb locations are secure. Oh, we're site. You, you just have to tell me like uh, the floor if you want. Or you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. But all right. Hey, yo, you hear me, Joe? Oh, no, please! <laughs> Is that you down there? Catch that! How about you catch this? Catch this! Op four found a bomb. All right, Joe. Must defend it. Buddy, ask the mighty lord. Tell me where Joe is. Up nation, rocking to the morrow. Up nation, and then please, Joe, 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 no, Joe, no, do not, no, no. Joe, please, for me. What did you just shoot there? Oops. Joe, please. Ah! I'm not doing nothing, Joe. You don't see me if I don't see you. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Please. What? How? I didn't see you. How did you see me? <laughs> Can you know? <laughs> Wait, you thought I was like a blanket on the wall? Dude, I had no idea. I had no idea what that was when I turned. <laughs> Uh, I'll go, uh, CCTV. No, it's my bad. Uh, top. When you're in rooms, you can just look at your compass and right above it will say what room you're in. He... We need to locate a bomb. Can I just skip this? Like the prep Ten phase? <laughs> I wish! I fucking wish! Five I mean, in a settings you can, yeah, but I wanted to give you time to drone. I didn't know if you like droning or not. Bomb but. must be located and Wait, defused. so where are you? Uh, where are you just around? Uh, top floor CCTV where you planted that one round. And I was outside. The fuck was that? <laughs> you located a bomb. Detected outdoors, eh? I'm not. That's what they all say. Why do I hear dogs barking? Oof, oof. I'm a dog. Are you coming up red stairs right now? If you look at the wall right there, do you see a skeleton? I don't even see a staircase. The skeleton is on the wall. The death. Brainer. Death Brainer. What in tarnation? God, yo. I just, Wait, did what? you see that shit? I just fucking threw my drone at you. Wait, did you, did you mean the one tapping or did you no, see me? No, I was trying to, I was trying to equip my util. I heard you throw it. Uh, are you going same spot or you can go basement? You know you can go. I'm gonna hold. It. I don't even know what I just collect. I'll let you know when I fucking spawn in. All right, I right, just uh, uh, <sighs> secure the bombs. It doesn't say what floor I'm on. Ten seconds left. Uh, it, it, it just see the room that you're in. Church. Five seconds. Oh, that's basement. Church. Uh, church armory. Yep. Are secure. But yeah, that's just basement. You can just call it basement. But if you're giving a call out, you would say like church and you'd say like behind rack or whatever. Behind default, I don't know. Are you in kitchen right now? No. There's no way you're... I'm tripping. I, I didn't think so, I, I but I did hear you. You're underneath the hatch. <clears throat> what the fuck is that? What? All right, Joe. Tell me you're a ten-time champ without telling me you're a ten-time ten champ. Ten-time champ? I feel like you just ran in. 
Not for I I did I thought you were in I, I I thought you would maybe still be near church a little bit, but I heard you wanted Ash Phantom. Mm, I'm gonna go this again. I I like I like this play. Well, I'm not calling Joe any names, guys. Apart are from they telling you, friend. are they telling you to make fun of me? <laughs> no, I, I don't know what it means, so. But what are they trying to get you to say? I'm, I don't want to say it. It might be mean. Five seconds to go. Just say it. Uh, uh <laughs> Joe. Uh, Bean? What's that? Joe Bean? Bean. Bean. Oh, Bean? it got deleted. Never mind. It got Bean deleted. Bartolozzi. Yeah. What's that mean? My last name's Bartolozzi. So. <laughs> it's just, just a troll. They're just yeah. Well, I mean, there's a video on TikTok of some. I don't even know how the fuck to get inside from where I just spawned. There's oh, a guy. Oh yeah, I'm basement. There's a guy that uh took a picture of me and he was like rubbing it sensually into like a what? full of beans. And so they <laughs> me, he was saying Joe Bean Alozi the whole time. Dude, how the fuck do I get inside? Oh my god, I was staring at the wrong building. Oh shit, I made it by I think I made it to five by mistake. That's fine. Me when I don't know how to get bison. Me when I don't know how to get downstairs. Oh, you just used the stairs. <laughs> I hear you. You have located a bomb. What? This is surely a move. Are you? What the fuck? Where are you? Yo, <laughs> I'm. Uh, wait. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was hearing above hatch, but you're droning from me. The sound is interesting. What? Karate! I just got fucking slammed there. That gun one taps? That's Reese. That one- yeah, no, it's a headshot I hit. Can you hear me? Three, three, three. No, I, I dead ass hope you win this because then it's an equal tie. That means we're both the same skill. Uh, I don't think it bomb. means that. It, it's, it's scientifically, the scientists would, yeah, the uh, they would disagree. They would beg to differ. Five seconds. Right, did you go basement? I went Keep an eye out for op four attempting to defuse your bombs. Where? Can you hear me? Sorry, man. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. My bad. Chad is asking me about stuff, so I'm sorry. Uh, you in basement? No, I'm in bedroom. Fuck, I'm tripping. Okay. You call him Joe, but don't forget the Bart. Call him Yo, dog. But w not without a fart. <laughs> My eyes! I can't see! My eyes! My eyes! Uh, shit, I can't see. Where even are you? I can't see! Ah, oh, fuck! I just got nails in my eyes. I uh, My eyes are closed. I can't- I'm playing with my eyes closed now. Shit! 
Yet. 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 All right. This is sight. I'm gonna hope I'm behind the bed right now. Am I planting? Uh, oh, I'm planting. Great, 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 great. All right. Detected. Eyes are closed. I don't know where I'm planting. My eyes are. Friendly's victorious. Hostiles eliminated. How did you get on sight? Did you not hear my face get blown off by your no, captain trap? No, dude, I thought- Oh, that was my cap can? I thought you breached somewhere. Match point. I could win this. Theoretically. Where? Alright. Yo, ask cap for the three. Sorry if I asked this, but did you see the solar eclipse? Yes. Elite five six two for the sub. Um, yo, uni for the five thousand five hundred biddies, bro. Dub in the chat for that. Thank them uh, or not thank them. Thank you for the fucking biddies, bro. I'm sorry. I missed right. that. Um, so you locate and defuse a bomb. What's up? I'm in back this one. Um. Okay. Solus uses boom boom attack. Solus uses boom boom attack. Run, Force, run. Run, Forrest. You got a snake in my boot. Call her Sally. I got a snake. Op four eliminated. Friendly mission successful. What? <laughs> That's a win. He teleported. No, but he teleported, guys. Oh, well. Well, thank you for playing with me. I appreciate that. Yeah. GG. GG's, GG's, GG's. Um, Have fun with your uh, novel game, is it? Uh, yeah, no, it's going to be pretty brutal. Uh, but, you know, thank you. Uh, I hope, I, I hope yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Uh, not unbearable. No, you've got it. It will be fun, I'm sure. Right. Well, bro, have a good rest of your stream. I will yeah, well. catch you later, bro. I right, see. You. Uh, yo, Nolan, thank you for the five gifted subs. Dub in the chat for that. Thank, uh, Nolan, if you got a sub, thank you for the five gifteds. Um, but yeah. Hold up. Um, are y'all ready to run some fucking Doki Doki Literature Club? Ooh woo, ooh woo meow, kawaii. Whatever that means. Okay. Pax for the sub, ASCAP for the three. Uh, and I'll leave for the sub, vlogging for the sub. Yo, Uni, I'm sorry I missed your bits, bro. Thank you for the biddies, man. All right. Chat, count me down 30 seconds, I gotta piss real quick, and then we will, uh, run some doki.
All right. Who's ready to play some Doki Doki Literature Club, brother? Me! Me! Okay. Who wasn't here last stream? If you weren't here last stream, say I, and I will explain what happened in last in the last stream. Okay. Doki Doki Literature Club is a cringy <laughs> anime love novel about a guy who joins a literature club and four girls fall in love with him. You end up picking one, right? The one that we have begun to pick as the one that we like is Yuri. And when you pick Yuri, the other girls start hating them. And apparently they're going to start killing each other and shit. So the game's going to get pretty scary soon. It's supposed to be like a love slash anime slash scary game. Um, I voice the characters. Uh, I have some pretty cringy voices for them. Uh, cause we have to read their lines. We we're it's like a five hour game. We're about two hours in. We're not going to finish it today, but it has like chapters and you go through the days. So it makes sense standalone. Uh, but basically we're basically we're going to hop in and I think we have to read one of them like a poem or some shit and it's going to be really cringy. Uh, is this going to be a VOD? Yes. Uh, we're not going to finish it today just cause I, I know we're not even halfway through. Uh, but we will finish the game probably the next time we stream it, but we're going to play it today. Matt for the sub Logan for the five. Also, uh, it is confirmed that Thursday we'll do the SDMP server for a little bit before we do Hoophobia and uh, Scary Games with uh, Sneak and them. Um, it's not going to be an every week thing that I play the SDMP. I want you guys to know that. But I will hop on it from time to time to do like funny shit in Minecraft with uh, some of the streamers. Because it's, it's basically just like a 30 streamer Minecraft server. But... Tomorrow I'm not live. Right now we're about to run Doki Doki. Tomorrow I'm not live. Wednesday I'm going to be doing scary games. We got Chills Art Night Delivery, uh, Decimate Drive, uh, Playtime with Percy, Ele Elevated Dread, and Fractured Mind Demo, which is like the Picot Body Cam Horror. We're probably going to be playing like four of those. Thursday we're going to do, as I said, SDMP, Hoophobia, and then um, probably like School Labyrinth or Content Warning. Friday is Reacts in the WWF charity stream. Sunday, Saturday is uh, Ready or Not, and then Sim Game Saturday. Sunday's Reacts, uh, and Monday uh, is Man of Madon. Uh, and then next Thursday we'll probably do maybe some more R6 and, and finish Doki. But yeah, Mr. Harry for the sub. Uh, are you guys ready to lock in for today? We'll probably finish Doki next Thursday. But we're playing it today. All right. Lock the fuck in. I got to exit out of Rainbow. You'll know that Doki's launched when you hear, uh, like, la da da, la da da, na da 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 da, -da or whatever the fucking stupid ass song is. <sighs> okay. Do we rip a mini shield before we play this? Me no no. Oh god. It's loaded. I think I'm going to have, like, PTSD for from this game. You missed my bits? What do you say, Flooding? Yeah, this game's going to be cringy, chat. It's a hard watch. It's a hard watch, but it gets scary. Mr. Harry for the sub, Logan for the five. What Yeezy should I get? Oh, I read that and I never said. Don't get the Yeezy Foams. Get any other Yeezys other than Yeezy Foams. Oh no, I have to play DDLC. We all know you enjoy it. You're not fooling me. I want it to get scary, but I think this time it's gonna get scary. We left off here. Okay, so this is me showing up to, to the literature club, right? And Monica's late. <clears throat> Are we ready to voice this? This game give me severe PTSD. Well, I'm pretty sure it gets really fucking scary because they start, like, breaking the wall and talking to me or something, but we'll see. <laughs> Hold up, let me rip a mini shield. This song gives me PTSD. Some scenes are crazy. Yeah, I know. 
Dang it. Sink it. They break your computer? Do they deadass break? This game breaks my computer? We have a pretty deep voice for Monica. Okay, I just want to forewarn you guys. <clears throat> I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? That's the one that chat chose, right? So this is the girl that, that likes the character, my main character, uh, and they're gonna start beefing. Weren't you practicing piano again? Yeah. Uh -huh. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano? God, maybe fucking Glazer some more, Jesus Christ. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys, or for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. Oh, this fucking bitch. This fucking, this fucking asshole. Fuck you, Natsuki. Uh-huh. I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. You were bitching about it last day. Yesterday, you were fucking complaining about it, saying how much you fucking hate it. Fuck you, Natsuki. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it yesterday? On fucking God, W. Monica. Uh, well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all of delicious, all kinds of delicious food. Yeah, like fucking chicken patties. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Eh, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Yeah, what do you mean by you people? What do you mean by you people, Natsuki? Huh? Huh? What do you mean by that? Because it's right in your name. mon -ika. I hate her. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Ah, uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our event for today, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as, aren't as funny as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me. <laughs> this is where a thousand people leave the stream. Where's Sayori anyway? Oh my god, did she die? Oh, there you are. Oh, she's not dead. Sayori's sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. She looks distraught. Eh? You're spacing out again. Ah, ah. Eh, sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everybody else. Huh? Is everything all right? Oh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayori shows me a big smile. She's got a gun in her pocket. <laughs> Die! Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, all right. If you say so. I worriedly glance. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning my back towards everybody else. Biggest mistake of my life. But the conversation is already dispersed with everybody back in their usual activities. Hopefully Sayori doesn't hear an acorn. Maybe I should ask Mon Monica if she noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since that, since they've been preparing for the festival, they must have been spending a lot of time together. Timidly approached Monica, who was shuffling through some papers. <laughs> Jabart, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori lately? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but I mean, she seems a, a little downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers around. Somebody said pre-watch. Does she pull out a gun? Stop. Does she pull out a fight? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I need to get jump scared. Don't tell me. If she pulls out a gun, that'll be fucking crazy. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who's idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there's something on her mind, but I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Jobart. 
I mean, I did tell Sayori that I would walk Yuri home the other day. You certainly know a lot better. You know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. This time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. Just wanted to see if you knew anything. I'll drop it. No, no, it's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Are you sure? Maybe she's just having a hard time bringing it up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Jobart. <laughs> Monica. <laughs> Monica, stop. <laughs> stop. Me? Why are we putting it in sub only? Why are people saying sub only? How on earth are people saying spoilers? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but <laughs> Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know? Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayori's always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any better now than it always has been. Eee! <laughs> That's not even a moment to say ee hee hee, dude. You're so funny, Joe Bart. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's how she is when she's around you? Oh my god. Maybe she's a psychopath elsewhere. I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions. So you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her. So try not to think about it for now. Ah, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice so quiet I can't hear from here. I sigh and sit down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her, to have fun with everybody else, but that's impossible when she's behaving like this. Oh my god, sorry. Exactly how how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of, out of the ordinary, but there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. Oh god, they're getting jealous. But she always looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. You missed my bits? Coupere for the three. It's my birthday. Happy birthday. Slash for the sub crits only for the three. You inspired me to create a YouTube channel and uh, get into philosophy. Watch you while editing my vids. Dub, dude. Thank you. Alan, Mr. Harry, Matt for the sub Logan for the five. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit on one next to her own. Got really quiet there. I didn't mean to bother you. Oh, wait. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Nah, I, I can't make her sound that bitchy. She wasn't that bitchy. Just end stream at this point. Yo, brother, are you gonna be an L chatter this whole time? Or are you gonna lock in for some fucking doki doki, bitch? Okay? Are you attracted to any of these characters? No, they're fucking creepy. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Is this your fantasy? My chat forced me to play this. The only reason I'm playing this game is because my chat voted for it when we hit $4,000 on a PCRF charity stream. I bet somebody is. Yeah, my chat spams ga every fucking four seconds. I just have to give her a high-pitched voice. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. You should pin a trigger warning for self-harm and suicide. Is one of them going to kill themselves in five minutes or some shit? What? You, like, my chatters keep telling me... to. Uh, Oh, you gotta, you gotta pin trigger warnings. I haven't noticed anything out of the ordinary in this game yet. Alone with my thoughts. How were you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot, so it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. N not that I was staring or anything. I didn't even, I didn't do anything creepy like that. She probably watches me in my sleep. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles aren't the only concern of those who are willingly, who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Uh, it's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little off today. But when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh. 
That's quite romantic. How the fuck is that romantic? I'm worried about whether or not my friend's depressed. What? What? S sorry. I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that. I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayuri and I have just been friends for a very long time. That's all. Ah, uh, I see. Then perhaps it's unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Jabart? <laughs> Jabart? The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold... Oh, she's looking at me. Many untold mysteries behind it. Look away. Every person, no matter how, how well you know them. Ah. So you think that there might be some meaning behind all of this? Take it out of sub only. I don't want my, I don't want my followers to not be able to chat. Hmm. Just ban anybody that says spoilers. I think that Sayori is very complex. Is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. She may not always know what she wants. I noticed how her strange behavior today too. I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupied. She was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Oh my God, they're getting fucking jealous. Oh, I fucking see the beef. I see the beef happening right now. Oh my god, I'm about to start screaming world star. Get them to fist fight each other. I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she is searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes... A person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. Okay, Yoda. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware of were in you. Th that is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy, so I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not necessarily as sophisticated as you. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, what noise is that? What noise is that, chat? Well, how do you say... Ah, ah, ah. Ah, 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 ah. Who makes that? Who makes that noise? Why? And, like, every time there's, like, eh. Like, who goes, eh, eh. Every four seconds? The fuck? That's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't you do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah. I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Oh, don't change camera angles. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Bitch, we're in a fucking classroom. Do you have a? Do you just have a teapot in your fucking book bag? I know what Sayori has in her fucking book bag. A Glock 19. That thing's gonna come out soon if I keep talking to you. Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. We just have a tea thing in the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from her shelf. Yeah, that has a fucking roofie in it. I'm about, to, I'm about to wake up tied to a radiator. Oh, hell no. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. She's gonna she's gonna roofie me. I'm going to, I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then we're gonna get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. The fuck does that mean? Especially because of her long legs. She really appears elegant and methodical. What? Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Yeah, to check that she doesn't fucking pop a goddamn pill in that fucking water and make me drink it first. Shall we go then? Yeah. Hmm, where are you two off to? See, eh, eh, eh? Weird, just Yuri, <laughs> we're just, Yuri was going to make some tea, so. Suddenly realize how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I've been laughing the whole game so far. Yo, it's gonna get mad creepy. I already know we're, we're cracking jokes, but I know at one point they're just gonna look like with soulless eyes right at the screen, and I'm gonna freak out. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? That's... Monica... <clears throat> Monica, please mind your own business for once, you fucking bitch. You're looking extra fat in that... You're looking extra fat in that fucking suit, by the way.
Is it one size too small? Did you throw it in the hot dry cleaner? Or did you just gain 35 pounds? Look at your fucking cankles. God, you're so fucking ugly. Or do you just want me to, or do you just want to tell me there's something wrong with helping involve Joe Bart in club activities, you fucking bitch? Eh? My mouth gapes. <laughs> Dude, who makes that? Who makes that pose in casual conversation? I I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Then let's go, Joe Bart. Ah. Uh, Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow. Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. What? I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Yuri, I just... Something about the way she said it. It made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? Why'd the music stop? No, Yuri. I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but... It's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Chobart... How come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Because oh, nothing that you do is as bad. Nothing you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions, and we can't always hide them away. But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. Ah, why is she always sweating, dude? I bet she's just she's always fucking sweating. No, no. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Friend, you say? Ah, uh, um... Yuri lifts her head. Chobart? I really like... being friends with you. Ah ha 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 Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you, too. Psych! Psych! Nice purple hair, Yuri! Nice purple hair looking like fucking Deku from MHA! I feel kind of awkward saying something like that. But I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway. Ah, uh, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once we fill up the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. Don't make me read a fucking poem. Jump heart. Do you like oolong tea? What is oolong tea? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. Anything's fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. E um, even if I'm not an expert on tea on anything. Hoo-hoo! Hoo-hoo! Sounds like a fucking frat call. In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, uh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. Deku has green hair. Okay, bitch, I'm colorblind. What's it to ya? I'm not colorblind. That was Cap. Deku has green hair. I was trying to make a joke. I couldn't think of uh, an anime character with purple hair. Minoru Mineta. Grape kid. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was just letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try exp expressing myself a little bit more. Yeah, well, maybe keep it down. Your stupid fucking humming has been bothering me. I can't think. Turns out it's not very hard for me to do. But it's you who's around anyway. Ah. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. Yeah, you might have a brain aneurysm. You're always worrying about me, Jabart. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I could keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour... What does that mean? I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Jabart. I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? That's nasty, bro. Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. Bitch, what? I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. Maybe a better posture, fucking gamer neck, Yuri. What are you playing, fucking League all day? Oh, your neck hurts? I just have bad- I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I tried my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. I swear to fucking god. I swear to fucking god I'm gonna freak out. It's- it's- I already know the next line. <sighs> your posture, right? Yeah, it's about your posture. 
Maybe you got fucking scoliosis. Always hunched over like that. Yeah, you look like the hunchback in Notre Dame. Go ring a bell for me, Yuri. Fuck. Yes. <laughs> she looks like she's gonna throw up, dude. <laughs> I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. I'll have, I have some chocolate as well. I whip out a fucking Mr. Beast bar. I whip out a melted Beastables bar that's just been sitting in my back pocket. Bag of small chocolate candies I kept hidden from Sayori's candy radar. I take it since it'll go with the, with the tea. Yuri and I sit together against the wall, tea cups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer. Oh, fuck no. I can't see too well. <laughs> Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was all, always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's now holding the book, I end up in the position that makes it even harder to focus. Dude, don't jump cut. Don't jump cut. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no, brother. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression. And I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little, put the teacup between my legs, and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I, I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's, that's okay. I won't take any. Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Yeah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. Oh my god, I swear to god, if he offers to feed it to her, I'm about to log out. I'm about to log out. I'm about to log out, brother. If, if he offers to feed it to her. Hell no. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Oh no, this is a creepy fucking scene. Yuri opens the book with both hands. Why is her nose like a triangle? She holds it so I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on the top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is always totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. Doesn't even look away from the book. Parts, parts her lips as if this situation was completely natural. That means I can't stop here. Oh, fuck no. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Yeah, who would have guessed it? Who would have guessed it? Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. What? Why do... It's every fifth fucking... It's every fifth fucking word, dude. It's every fifth fucking word. Eh? Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me and she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Jobart. Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah, uh, that's... Well... You were just helping. Something that friends do, right? I mean... Not really in this kind of context, but yeah. That's all it was. Yeah. Then... You don't need to stop or anything. Oh, fuck no. I see. Situation has gotten really tense. Yuri tries to return to the book. But I can just tell by her expression that she, can, she can't focus now. My heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers. Before I give it to her, I fucking puke in my own lap. My heart's pounding so, he so fucking heavily. This, the, the world starts spinning. I puke everywhere. I start vomiting on her fucking hair. But this time, Yuri's eyes meet mine. Why does she look like she's about to cry? How did it come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breaths. I raise my arm. Ah. Before Yuri parts her lips. But it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. Dog, stop. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Yeah, it probably smells like Burger King. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, everyone. Ooh, ah. Ah! Uh, Yuri jolts back. It's time to share poems. Oh, Jesus. Not this fucking bullshit again. Uh, Jeb Hart, you can help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. Spell's abruptly broken. Ow. I'll, I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Picks up the teacups from the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up with the, without so much as the world between us. I get the feeling this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. Who do we share our poem with first? 
Iker and yo, it's well for the sub. Waspy for the sub. Want some money in an Archer for second place? Dude, congrats. Tomato for the sub. Coop for the three. I'm thinking of the three. Um, I already read that. Yuri again? Yeah, why not? We are we are already just talking to Yuri. Jabart, your writing has only improved in the last few days. Every poem you've shown me is nothing but short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. I don't even think it came to me this naturally. Yeah, Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come naturally to me, but I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You've really, you're really the example I was chasing after. Is that so? Yuri gently smiles. This feeling, I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought it would, it would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something and you've never even shared it with anybody. Yeah, I can't wait to read, Mo or not Monica. I can't wait to read Yuri's shitty ass fucking poem about like frogs. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but it's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well, Yuri smiles sadly. Chibar, during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Loser! L lose, loser much? Wow, okay. <laughs> womp womp. Maybe figure it out, Yuri. Oh my god, you're telling me you eat alone? Fucking womp womp. Tell me a sob story, brother. Jeez. <laughs> Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. I actually eat in the bathroom. <laughs> in the handicap stall. I put my tray on the toilet paper roll. Just so the food doesn't touch the floor. In fact, I always have some books with me. You can really say I enjoy reading. If somebody ever comes in the bathroom, while I'm eating lunch, I, sh I flush my burrito down the toilet. I don't want them to realize that I'm eating in the bathroom. I start making groaning noises too, like I'm taking a fat shit so they don't, they don't talk to me. That's why I always choose Mexican food too. Doesn't confuse people when they hear, when they smell it in the bathroom. <laughs> well, that's one way to put it, but Books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Or people you, you just know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. Dude, she really is a pick me. Yeah, <laughs> I swear to God. Yo, oh my God. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day. You know? And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And and they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Joe Bart. I'm actually really fucking stupid. The doctor told me I had the IQ of a rat. But not even a good one, like a New York City rat. I don't even know how to add. Or read. Kind of a miracle I could even write poems. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I really don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings. And all I could do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now. This is so sad. Oh my god. Like I'm having I'm having trouble. I'm having trouble fucking making fun of this. This is like fucking. It's like she has no friends. Then I started sharing it with you. And <laughs> I really understood what, what I was missing all this time. I really done anything. No, that's wrong. Just being patient and respectful. That's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Joe Bart. I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. And I have really, really bad hemorrhoids. It's like I can't even take a shit. I can't walk without fucking walking like a penguin. It hurts so bad, Jobart. But every time I see your face, it just... just gets rid of the pain for a second. But then it comes back. But every time, you've always treated me like just like anybody else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. That's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat you how to deserve to be treated, Yuri. Over the people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. 
And I would say I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Uh, um, if you put it that way. Psych! I ain't your friend! You smell like fucking Chef Boyardee ravioli, Yuri! When was the last time you fucking- you fucking showered? We really are friends now, aren't we? Yuri puts her head in her hands. But this time she's smiling and she doesn't. You want me to show you me- show me your poem? Yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. Oh, I didn't read that right. Oh, God. Beach. A marvel millions of years in the making. Where the womb of Earth chaotically meets the surface. Under a clear blue sky, an expanse of bliss. But beneath gray rolling clouds, an endless enigma. <gasps> the Earth, the easiest, would get, to, would get lost in it. It's one where everything can be found. One can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet. But where the sand is wet, the tide comes. When it gently licks at your foundations until you give in. Or will it su suddenly wave? Or, or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in a blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build build sandcastles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. Turn back, and I abandon my piece to a road at the same, the shore. Drift forward, and I return to Earth forevermore. Honestly, that was a better poem of hers. The last one we read fucking sucked. She was running about, like, dirt or some shit, and it was so stupid. And she was like, it's, a, it's, it's just, it's deep to me. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about, but I did my best to take a metaphorical approach. You say, you say that you didn't even, uh, want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Natsuki and I, well... It was amusing that we we wrote about something similar in such different ways, so Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyways, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's not, uh, it's not a surprise she wanted to do something like that. Probably just wanted to show off. It's not like I have any particular interest in her writing. Just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not bad, uh, bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know. It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Oh my god, thank fuck. We don't have to go in a deep-ass conversation about every fucking poem. Let's go to Natsuki next. We'll see her fucking beach poem. Oh god. Meh. I guess you really haven't learned after all. Honestly, I don't know why I got my hopes up in the first place. What? I didn't even think this one was that bad. What did I do wrong? Poems don't need to be all deep-sounding to express something. It's going to just sound like you're forcing it, unless you don't suck at it. Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're on Yuri's level. Natsuki stopped for us all of a sudden. Don't tell me. Eh. You're not just trying to impress Yuri, are you? What are you talking about? Keep your voice down. You know Yuri would love this kind of- This ain't- Dude, she's getting mad. She's getting mad. Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean I mean- Ugh. Looks like I'm in trouble. Somehow struck a nerve, thought I, uh, <laughs> though what I did is beyond me. I'm so done with you. Natsuki shoves the poem I handed her back over to me. Take your stupid poem. If you read it for somebody else, just don't show it to me. Ouch. So what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. Unless I was a uh, mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't really the, the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. Bro, I didn't even get to read her poem? I didn't even get to read her poem? Natsuki's poem is always the worst one. It's always like, grass. I like grass. But grass has bugs. Bugs scare me. And then that's the end of the poem. Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, can you, I already can tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about me, I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Eh? I didn't write this for anybody specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. Yeah, sorry, he's gonna kill herself. Uh, that makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Jovart. Sayori, is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. Hee <laughs> alright. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everybody else now, if you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Oh no, dude. Before I could say anything, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. 
go, bro. She's actually gonna fucking kill someone. Oh, God. Hi, Tobart! Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, oh, well, being in the club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of other people, I have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. Whatever you do, I'm sure it will turn out great. It'll also make me happy to see. Ha ha ha. Anyways, let's take a look at today's poem, sure. Let Monica take the poem from my hands. This one's good. Feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Hmm. I guess so. You can't really deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally. I think I think her poems are the most romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I just noticed that too. Or when she's talking about literature, it's like a light turns on inside of her head. Uh-huh. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what's going on inside of that head of hers? I hope you don't mind. Uh, I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just meant that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself, but she's still defending her like that. She must be, you must be pretty into her. Eh. You totally, you completely misunderstood. Ah, calm down, I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she already got a boyfriend. Wait, what? Pause, what? Oh, official one, anyway. Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. It's kind of a hunch, but, well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, all right? Er, all right. Joe got worried? Bro, because then the whole goal of this game is you get one of them to actually fall in love with you, and then the other ones freak out, right? Like, we see Sayori losing her shit. And so, like, my chat made me pick Yuri. Uh, so I didn't want that to go bad. Okay, anyways, this girl raps. So let's get it. The lady who knows everything. An old tale, an old tale tells of a lady who wanders Earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather, whilst I drift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in a twill of- Yo, this ain't got no rhymes to it. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall, and I fall, and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, dry as a quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and the forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look at the eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amounts to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend doesn't exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat. And I pick up a gust of wind. That had no rhymes in it. That was like slam poetry, you know. I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything. It's kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. If we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everybody in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Aha, uh -huh, are you surprised? I mean, if everyone was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know better than anybody else. You mean one-dimensional? Ah, uh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put too much into. But if you find other people who enjoy the writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just teaching or telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it. It's much more encouraging that way, and it'll make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Yeah, stupid ass advice. Okay, you three, we're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Huh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri's so immune to it. Oh, uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is Sayori isn't here. Ah, seems you're right. Sai. Sayori, Sayori always helps lighten the mood a bit, doesn't she? Somebody said this got 3.3k viewers. Yeah, I know. Shocking, right? Don't know why people want me to play this so much more. Somebody said react more. Bitch, I do reactions twice a week. If you have any games or videos you want me to react to, I speak to my Discord. 
Join the Discord. Video suggestions have Gates Chest Step. Ty find most of the videos that I watch in games that I play, in, including this whack ass game. So if you have any games you want me to play or videos you want me to react to, exclamation my Discord. Enjoy. Booty and Vault for the sub, Bibalicious, and Sophia and Iker for the sub. Yeah, it's well for the sub. Last for the three. It's almost like everybody's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she was just wanted we just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she was actually not feeling too well when home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being a lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori, you fucking bitch, Natsuki. Fucking dumbass bows in your hair and shit. Short as fuck. Bet you can't even dunk. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh? Uh -huh. That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything's fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival. But... Yo, you can't dodge my question like that. You can't dodge the question like that. What? I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Oh, that's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes, but we might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle all that by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all poetry pamphlets. Sorry will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can. And, um... Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I'm useless. No! That's not at all. You're the most talented person here, you know? Now Natsuki pouting too. Jeez, I can't even tell. I guess uh, I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are harder when you're not around, or when she's not around. Ah, that may be the case, but I can tell she's also a leader of my own. And then I won't grow as a person. What? Oh, I can't also be a leader on my own. So Yuri, you have a beautiful head running, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set up the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I, I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at the desk and focuses to start nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I can see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Joe Bart. The one who is truly hopeless. Or, oh wait, no, <laughs> hopeless, useless. That's me. Yo, that's me. I'm useless. Ah, don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. Probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You can always help out as well. Be really appreciative of that. Ah, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Ah, uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Yuri, I don't want to help your dumbass. Actually, no, it's either Yuri or Natsuki. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I can give to you. It's not like Madoka's going to give me a choice, and you should be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of ex uh, excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Jabart might not, may not like to be around if only... It's... It, Fuck! I can't read. If you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited assisting with decorations. Hold on. I never said that. Why is she arguing over me when she literally told me to go fuck myself earlier? How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds like more you're just making excuses for Joe Bart to... What are you saying? It'll be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? What do you think? Guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Joe Bart. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? Oh, nah! <laughs> Yo, I gotta pick one of them? I feel like if I pick Yuri, that's too bland. I feel like I need to stir shit up, you know? I'm sure he's interested in. You literally just said, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, no. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Joe Bart, are you okay with this? In the end, it's up to you. Uh... Of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I could go with Sayori? Why is it Sayori dot dot dot? I feel like I shouldn't pick Yuri. If I, do if I pick Yuri, everybody else is going to get mad, but Yuri's just going to be chill. I feel like Yuri's going to lose her shit if I don't pick Yuri. Do a poll. Run a poll. I'll pick Yuri if my chat wants me to pick Yuri, but I'll pick any of them. Mods, run a poll on this. I'm letting my chat choose the choose the story here. Uh, purple hair girl, that's Yuri. 
Natsuki is pink hair. Yuri is purple. Monica is like, what is that? Brown, red. And Sayori is the girl that went home. Sayori, I feel like straight up Sayori is going to kill herself if we don't pick her. If, if, like, I'm, I'm, she's either going to kill someone or she's going to kill herself. It's going to be like one of the two. Save? I probably should save. What are people picking? Sayori. Okay. I think that makes sense, logical sense, too. Yuri's gonna get mad, though. My whole chat's picking Sayori. Alright, we'll pick Sayori. I mean, if it's going to be anybody, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and... But Monica said... Monica said that Soraya was a help... Monica said that Soraya was helping her! Jeez. Do you really hate us that much? No. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the club, okay? Bitch, I can't even choose Sayori. Oh my god, run another poll. Run another poll. Oh my god, yeah, they didn't let me pick Sayori. Fuck, dude. See, they're trying to get beef right now. They're trying because Sayori was a pick that wouldn't stir anything up because she was already upset or whatever. Bandit and Mojo for the sub. They want us to pick somebody that's going to start shit. Everybody else is just going to pick Yuri. Fuck, dude. I feel like that's too bland of a choice. I feel like that's too bland of a choice, though. I don't know. Yeah, Natsuki's definitely last pick. I don't want to pick Natsuki at all. She is so fucking annoying. Uh, Yuri, chat. I feel like Monica might, might be... I might, I might opt. I know everybody's voting Yuri, but you're voting Yuri because we've already been speaking to Yuri, and Yuri's the one that's trying to, like, fall in love with the main character. What are they doing, too? Natsuki's baking. Yuri's doing drawing. That's fucking boring. What is Monica doing? Glove for the sub. Because I have to help them with whatever task they have. Natsuki's thing is fun. Why? Because you get a bake. Oh, do I get to actually bake like it's like Club Penguin or some shit? Making pamphlets. You cook meth. I get to cook meth with Natsuki. Oh, I can't do I can't do Monica because because Sayori's helping her. Okay, rerun the poll with Yuri and Natsuki. Just those two. Key exotic for the sub Joe for the three. Or for the sub. She'll drug me? You think Natsuki will drug me? She does seem like a psychopath. Yuri won. Alright, we're picking Yuri. Chat picked Yuri. Picked Yuri. We're picking Yuri. We're picking Yuri. I'll listen to my chat. I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. But me? Are you serious right now? She about to freak out. Why would you, Natsuki? I can already tell you're about to say something mean. No, I was just saying, ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Joe Bart? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sort of things, so I think your assistance will be useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to hand the baking yourself? I mean, yeah, I already said I'd be fine. Okay. Everyone can tell Natsuki is feeling a little sour. Yeah, she's pissed. So is everything uh, we needed to go over? Oh, yeah. This should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word. I suppose I'm looking forward to a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Joe Bart? Me? I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. Yeah, that's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki? What? Why is everybody yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No, that's not what we met at all. Uh, Yuri actually glances between everybody in the room. I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Joe Bart picked me. <laughs> and also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. No, those shits are ass, though. Those shits taste like fucking grocery store cupcakes. They really go well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um... Well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that, but you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. 
I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Atsugi is the one that's only only one that's surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already had trouble with words, trying to cheer somebody up must be far out of her comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell she tried to say something Sayori wouldn't say. Oh my god! Yuri's about to peel Sayori's skin off and wear it. Like the fucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Because Sayori ever, uh, always helps everybody smile and feel good about themselves. No. I appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of everything. But I'm going to say this. You better, big, bet, you better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the event. Uh, I believe you. Yeah. I hope to see everybody do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. All right, let's head out then. Everybody packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out of the door as they chat between each other. Um, eh. Again, eh. Sorry. I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe this slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. All right, then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay, then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. My house? Is that a problem? Uh, no, not at all. Just thought that would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I'd prefer going to your house. Your her room's probably fucking crazy. She probably got, like, dead animals and shit just hanging on the fucking wall like a dead rat just stapled to the fucking drywall. Hiding bodies under the floorboards like fucking some... What, what was that? What was that clown serial killer? Yuri's hangout's boring as fuck. Then why didn't everybody vote something else? Need to make sure my room's clean. I'm going to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you. Oh my god, she wants Sayori to see her. Don't underestimate yourself, Jobar. I think we'll make a very productive team. Even if you'll choose me because you felt bad or something. Wait, you don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason that you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But Yuri thinks to herself with extreme, tense expression. You're, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh, I didn't realize. I'm telling you I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I, Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. Took tremendous effort. Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And then I fucking dub her. And then I dub her. Go back? Oh, you think I'd go back and choose Natsuki? Nah, we're already too far in. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> Can't believe this. Yuri is going to be coming to my house Sunday? Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori, my anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. Who knows what might be happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I go with it, then I'll have a good time. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. Keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous doesn't help much. Yo, this motherfucker's rich. Is this a duplex or is this an individual home? Yuri's clearly an uh, introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt she'll open up a bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. Extremely apprehensive at first. It wasn't long before I was uh, already learning more about her. Putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. Uh-oh. It's not like texting each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori uh, said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I decide to visit Sayori. Oh, no. I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering my, in myself. Again, we used to play so often that we made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to the bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? I, oh, God, dude, they got, they had me fucking nervous, bro. I thought it was about to be fucking done. Hi, Jebart. I sit down in her room. 
Sayuri Force is mild, but it's easily to tell she's it's easy for me to tell she's different. Minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? I guess you're right. It's been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the stuffed animals and wall decorations she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. Because I end up cleaning for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sayuri had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Oh my god, she got- she, she fucking wiretapped me. She fucking wiretapped me. Monica told me. Oh, that makes more sense. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, uh, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. Finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well, so... Sayuri smiles and shakes her head. That's no good, Jebart. Huh? Eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings... If I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? <laughs> I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. Just wants to torture me. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Sayori. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this, so tell me already. So I know I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah, uh, aha, uh -huh. sorry, it gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Joe Bart. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayuri? <laughs> you're really just going to make me say it, are you, Joe Bart? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Holy shit. Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend time on me? That's what it feels like. That's why I haven't. Uh, I just want to make everybody happy without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Soraya kept, kept this from me the entire time I've known her? She really wants so badly for me to not think about her. Why, Sayuri? Eh. Why is it that you've never told me? It almost feels like you've betrayed all as your close... I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little bit better. That's why I'm your friend. All you have to do is tell me. You don't understand at all, Jebart. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have, ha you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes. It also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Holy shit. That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everybody else. Helping everybody be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everybody in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Aha. Uh -huh. You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for you to help, for me to help you stop hurting. That's what I'll do. No, Jobart. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could help is if every, everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down her face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came in here and I made you hurt, too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. That's why I'm going to accept those punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Oh my god. Yo, this is like, fucked. Without thinking, I once grabbed Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Ah! Jabart, Sayori. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everybody else, too, that's just a bonus. Please never under, uh, underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Jobart, 
She isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, her arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Joe Bart. I. Sorry, I barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. All I want is for her to know that I care. If you have dude, this is getting sad as shit. Oh my god, this is getting sad as shit. <laughs> Enjoy Sayori while you can. Bro, she's gonna fucking kill herself. If you have if you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out uh, what needs to change. I'll make those feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I finally puts her arms around me. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Javart. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. Oh, God. And that's really scary, too. Sorry, let me go. As she does, I let her go as well. The festival's tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um. Uh. It's what I want. I promise. I... I think that'd be nice then. Yeah. Sayori wipes her eyes. Yo, and then I'm about to ditch her. That's about to be crazy. If I could spend the whole day hurt here, I would. Of all of all the of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be good for me today. You understand, right? Ah, uh, it's kind of hard for me to understand fully. I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry about me too much. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. I say the goodbye to the Sayori Exeter house. On the way home, I find myself feeling uneasy. It's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is coming over, too. I think Sayori's right. I shouldn't be worrying too much. We're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. Bro, she better be looking through the window. I already know Sayori's got to be like... through the fucking window just watching as I approach my house I see something that makes uh, me feel a moment of panic Yuri ah uh, thank goodness you're a little early I'm sorry I wasn't home yet were you waiting for a long time no I just got here I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell you always could have texted me if I had known I would have reassured you and heard it heard my, more on the way home I suppose that's true I didn't think of that for some reason should be common sense to do that, but I decide to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. This isn't even a game? What do you mean this isn't a game? This is a fucking game. Bro, brother, what is with motherfuckers complaining right now? You guys literally made me play this game. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. Check bits when you can. Master for the sub. Uh, floating for the three. People saying womp womp are losers. Depressed is a real thing. And people actually feel this, including me, a couple years ago. Smoking for the sub. Fiddle for the four. This is... Kizer Flex message, the one who has skin cancer. Could you tell him my melanoma is responding crazy well to radiotherapy and I genuinely want to thank him for some crazy reason. I think when he said hi to me, genuinely helped me before that I was really depressed and bummed out, but ever since I've been absolutely amazing test results and will probably live. What? I want him to know that he genuinely helped me. That's a fucking dub. Fucking dub in the chat for that drip. Thank you for the five gifts as well. I'm sorry I missed that. Q Exotic for the sub. Master for the sub. Wow. Oh shit, what did she bring? I didn't fucking read that message. At least I got, uh, I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. Haha, uh -huh. I cleaned it before you came over, so that's very considerate of you. Ah, uh, no, I would really be embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Uh, that would have been even more embarrassing. Wait, don't walk in there. I snatch Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a, dr a desk drawer of mine. Ah! I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. What the fuck's in the drawer? I was just spacing out. It's fine. It's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in my lap as if sh if making sure she keeps keeping track of them. So, um, should we get started? Uh, yes. I have a few things planned that you can help me with. Decorations, atmospheric enhancements, atmospheric enhancements, you know, mood lighting, aromatherapy, candles, aromatherapy candles for a fucking fair. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course, I wanted to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many 
will stop by just out of curiosity and for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget about that you're a pretty intense person. Uh, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? Not at all. Something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? Makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. Chat's being a shit today. Chat's not shit today. It's just there's a few people complaining. And wait, hold up. Let me say this. If you don't like the game, I get that. Okay? I'm not even going to diss it. We're not going to ban you for bitching about it. I understand if some people here don't like this game. I'm a variety streamer. You're not going to like every game I play. People voted for me to play this from a charity stream. I'm going to play it. Okay? If you don't want to watch it, come back fucking Wednesday. Right? And the view count's good. I'm not saying I only determine what I play based on the view count. But if 3,400 people have been watching me play this for the last hour and a half, they're, it's clearly entertaining enough <laughs> for most people. Because almost no one left after Rainbow. Like, 400 people left. Like, master for the sub. <sighs> yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax? I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Yeah, like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a fucking a rag full of chloroth chloroform. This is how I relax. Stuffs it on my face. I wake up. I wake up in an Arby's bathroom chained to the fucking handicap stall. Butt ass naked. Covered in fucking poop. <laughs> just like, what the fuck? She just breaks in. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that'd be amazing, don't you? Why do you have so many calluses? Because I fucking weight lift. That'd be really neat. What's the wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Oh, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positivity, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Takes the cylinder out and <laughs> pushes the switch on the bottom. Just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to sput through a small hole at the top. I begin feeling fucking nauseous and dizzy. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is it for this one? This is a jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Enhances your emotions, helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that'll be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable. You seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be able to use the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh, fuck no, I ain't doing that shit. What will those be used for? We're going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang them from the doorway of the classroom. We could fasten the paper onto the ribbon to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It'd also catch the eye of those passing by the room. May attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Oh my god, this motherfucker's dick riding. Uh, is that so? I suppose I do get a little intense as you put that. Oh, uh, well. He really giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing that's something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Jabart. You could write any characters you want. I'll help you, you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Uh, all right. I just draw fucking obscenities on every one of them, ruin it. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long stand of red ribbon to her desired length. She reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. Oh, God. Silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Ah, uh -huh. well, Embarrasser looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Oh, does she collect knives? Whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. Teach their own, you know? If you promise you'll be weirded out, 
Yeah, I promise. All right. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. And the fucking curtain unveils itself. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. She likes fucking stabbing people. She's going to stab people. Oh, God. They're just so pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. What am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. Uh, you're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's interesting to be into, I guess, but I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. Besides, it's a really cool-looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? It's probably some shitty-ass knife. That'd be sick if she had, like, a rainbow karambit. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. I just fucking stab her. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with, a, with uh, the handle facing me. I take it and put it in my hands. Feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Jabar! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. The knife is extremely sharp. I sharpen it every day. Every night I sharp- I just- I have a fucking- gr I have like a grit sandstone that I just fucking- I just sharpen it on. It could probably cut your bone. You wanna test it out? It could cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives my wound a closer look. Ah. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah. Uh -huh. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth. <laughs> Yo, nah. Yo, what if I had an STD? What if I had AIDS? What if I had AIDS? What if this man had AIDS, bro? Now it's over. You just ingested somebody else's blood. That's crazy. I feel her tongue curl around my fingers. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Yeah. Oh, please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, sure it was a little weird. Took me by surprise. I guess she was trying to help. Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? All right, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and I lick her index finger in return. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Chapart! Did he really just do that? Now we're even. Yuri looks at me as if I did something wrong. Aha, uh -huh, I knew that would be a bad idea. Not for the sweet aroma of jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy. You're so weird, Chapart. Yuri giggles shyly. Bitch, you have a knife collection! The fuck? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Uh, I don't think I need one, actually. It's just a tiny cut. Looks like it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension qu quickly lifted. We resume our respective activities. I watched Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like nothing but air. I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the ribbons, we lay out side by side. It's better than expected. I, I will be very effective. It will be very effective as a door curtain. Looks great. Good thing coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. You ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why you asked to do... That's why I asked you to buy the paint tables. That's right. One of the items Yuri asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We use about six cups of water to put each on the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. Be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh. And just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill up the cups too much, it'll be too diluted. The music's going to drive me insane. Should I lower it? I'll lower it a little bit. Taking Yuri's advice, I decide to use small plastic bathroom cups that have full-size glasses. I put them on the plate to attach any paint that drips. Yuri? Yes? I come to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Ah, uh, nothing. Oh, does she cut herself? Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Ah, uh, no, not at all. Or she stole, she stole something of mine. No way she's cutting herself right now. There's nothing wrong. Let me mix the paint. Dismisses me, starts to unwrap the tablets. So, I thought we could do something simple that that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner, starting with the colors from the sunrise, then daytime, then sun, a sunset and nightmare. Once it dries, I'll write an inspire, inspirational quote across the banner. 
We can hang it on the wall behind the podium. Ah, neat. What are you gonna write? Well, it'll be more fun surprise to you. Yuri smiles, if you say so. We deal on opposite sides, so we don't get in the way of each other. Using a brush, she adds a few dots of different colors across the banner. Kind of reminiscent of elementary school. Painting on a uh, banner with watercolors feels a lot like art class projects we had. Did y'all even have fucking art in elementary school? I feel like I had art like once a week. And we would do like the dumbest shit ever. I would fucking, I would like mess around with clay. Master slams an X for the sub. Like just make clay balls and shit. Uh, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. I didn't mean it like that at Oh, I didn't mean it like that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. She stops painting for a moment thinking to herself, For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I'm usually, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't matter if we don't talk that much. Just having a friend next to me makes me feel like a bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with somebody can make me feel happy. Yo, top 10 favorite thing, showing somebody funny videos. If I, yo, I look forward to showing my friends TikToks that I find funny. And the disappointment I have when they don't laugh. Bitch, I'll be showing somebody a video like. And then I scroll. I'm like, okay, you don't find it funny. All right, well, now, I gotta, now I gotta find one. Then you start stressing out. You're like, fuck, I need to find one. They think it's funny. They're not gonna want to watch the videos I show them anymore. I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Kia! Sorry. Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. And your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's not totally my fault. Get a towel. I get a towel, damp it with hot water, return to the room, kneel back down in front of her. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Here. Pat down Yuri's face with a neck and towel. Ah. Is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. Didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I started to retract my hand, but Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Eh? Just for a little longer. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's really nice. Oh, God. She likes, likes pain, dude. Uh, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks in my eyes. An intense expression that I recognize from when she read her books. Almost as if she's lost in the days involved by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Do you remember the Jasmine giving me this dizzy feeling? Oh my god, the fucking... Yeah, I'm gonna pass out. I'm about to pass out soon. Yuri's gen the gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist, sending a tingling sensation through my arm. Suddenly her face seems so much closer to mine just a moment ago. Ah, uh, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry, I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. Didn't mean to space out. It's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up a brush again, but her movements seem clumsier, and she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue to follow Yuri's... Uh, oh, I didn't even know what that said. That should do it. Finish filling the night sky with the white dots. Looking at the banner the whole time, it feels pretty uh, and natural looking. I think it came out, uh, better than, came out better than expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Ah, uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it should be best to leave it uh, here, then you have it, bring, bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before the event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. Oh! Ah! <laughs> You say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you're at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Ah, uh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah, uh, so you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we could have extra time after finishing the work. Well, Yuri thinks to herself. I think I would be too irresponsible for me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. It's not your fault at all. And there's more important thing is we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all the things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. Sounded like she really gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. Doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. Walk out of the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. Glad I was able to help. 
Let me know if there's anything else uh, you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, I kind of say without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have too much time, as much time as we wanted because we could do this again. Whenever we want, you could come over. We could go out somewhere. I forgot you don't like going out that much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles banishfully or bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. So you're very thoughtful, Jibart. Takes a slow, uh, closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? I don't even get a chance as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Sayori! Eh. Oh, fuck no. Uh... Ah! Hi, Jobart. Sayori, just now we weren't. <laughs> it's okay, Jobart. I just stopped by to say hi. Um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so that's fine, right? Of course. Sorry, Beams. Yeah, so, I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, she hurries off. Sorry, waves goodbye. Sayori, I thought you didn't want me to come over today. Ah, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was really mean to me, so I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri, and how close you got to her. Makes me feel really happy, Cap. That you've been made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears fall down Sayori's face. <laughs> That's all that matters to me. <laughs> Why am I feeling this way, Jobart? <laughs> I was supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my head's splitting in half? <laughs> it hurts so much. Yo, I'm killing this voice. I'm killing this voice. I think I'm doing a fucking... I'm doing a fucking amazing job. Like, I chat... A little, a little clap in the chat. I'm fuck The emotions... The emotions are, like, I'm fucking voice- I'm a great voice actor here. <laughs> it hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Jobart. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. And you wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica's right. I should just- Monica? Monica was right about what? Did Monica tell Sayori to kill herself? Yo! Sayori, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden of my mind. Isn't the burden your mind is going to make it out to be. It's something that makes you happy. Or makes me happy. It's something that I want to trade for anything else. Even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Jabart. I'm really scared. What are you scared of? I'm scared that... That I might like you more than you like me. Oh, shit. Sayori. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Jabart. Oh, I like you so much that I want to die. <laughs> oh, my God, yo. That's how I feel. And, and. That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how, how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all your own feelings, I know whatever you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. Yo! Nah, yo, Shane, you love... Yo, she's dead asking. They're going to kill each other. If I say I love her, she's they're going to kill each other. Dude, they're getting so obsessed. They're getting so obsessed. You'll always be my dearest friend, bro. I can't say that. Save. We got to save. We gotta save. We gotta save. We gotta save. We gotta save. I'm gonna overwrite that one. Run a poll. Oh, I knew it! I knew my chat was gonna say that. Shit! Fuck, dude! It's gonna. It, oh my god, it's gonna stir up so much shit. It's gonna stir up so much shit. Oh, fuck. Eh? Those are my truest feelings. So there's no no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everybody at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, help me realize that you're truly the most important person to me. Stop. And now I'm do now I'm doing now I'm now I'm fucking two faced. Now I'm hanging out with Sayori, and I'm also hanging out with Yuri. Shit, dude. Don't go back. I feel like I can't chat. Hold up. <laughs> Ooh. 
Un momento. Un momento. All right. Lock back in. Why go back? It, it ruins it. Because, yeah, like, I'm not going to go back. Yuri's going to stab me. Oh, my God. You think Yuri's going to fucking kill me? That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day with you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. Joe Bart. Suddenly, Sayori wraps her arms around me tightly. Jobart, is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sayori. What am I? Who the, who the fuck is this? I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Jobart. Oh, God. Chat, it's about to be so, it's about to be so over after this. I want to be with you forever. Oh, shit. Me too. I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori, I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now, why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Jobart. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better. No matter how long it takes, I'll always be there the step of the way. Bro, she's gonna kill me and herself. Oh my god. She, she, this better be like, if I can't have you, nobody can. Type, type shit. That's all that matters right now. Okay. I trust you. Sayori and I slowly release each other, so I guess that makes that festival tomorrow our first date, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, so now I'm just not talking to Yuri? Now I'm just not talking to Yuri. So now it's like Sayori was the chosen one. Should have friend zoned her. Fuck Yuri. Just play? Okay, I'll just play. I'll just play. Floating's the expert on this game. What are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it's always been. Even if we really are a couple, I don't know if I can handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Joe Bart. He gazes at me, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Eh? I don't really understand what's already meant by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad? <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. Jesus Christ, figure it out! Figure it the fuck out! What do you want? You're like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. But that's what I that's why I trust want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Oh my god, I'm just controlling your life. I do. That's my promise. In reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her and she loves me, but I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give everything I got. Sayori is the most important person to me. And I'll do whatever it takes to make her a happy, uh, happy future with her. It's the day of the festival. Fuck. Do we run more? Uh, do we stop here? Or do we run more? How far into the game do you think we are? I feel like now we're like, now we're like a little past halfway. I feel like this is where shit gets fucking serious. You're Quan for the five. Elmo for the sub. We'll run more. How long is the festival day? I'm almost done with chapter one. You can't stop now. It gets so good. Okay, we'll finish chapter one. Okay. We'll finish chapter one. You're almost at act two. Okay, we'll finish chapter one. We'll for sure finish chapter one. Okay, chat, we'll finish chapter one. Relax, 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 relax. Day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. Sayori isn't answering the phone. I consider going to her house to wake her up, but decide that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the prep for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry and gently rolled up to take with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great, too. Oh, uh, Sayori's better not show up. Jabar! You're the first one here! Yo, you told Sayori to kill herself. Thanks for being early. That's funny, I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica's placing little booklets at the end of the, each desk. They, uh, they must be the ones she prepared for the, to have all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like, and I submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she ever slept again, that dummy. You, you'd think that on the days this is important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly realize what Sayori told me yesterday, and I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. 
I only said it because I thought it was the way I'm assuming I'm used to thinking, but maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Ah, uh -huh. you should take a little responsibility for her, Joe Bart. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? How do you know about that? How does they? How does she know about that? How does she know about that? Exchange, Monica. You, Monica. You, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. But stammer and embarrassed. Did Sayuri really tell her about it that quickly? There were a couple now. I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anybody yet. Jeez, you don't know the full story at, uh, at all. So don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Why is that creepy? Why is that creepy? That's fucking creepy. What does she know? Monica's being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine. Hey, do you want to check out the pan flips? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grab one of the pan flips laid out on the desk, and there's no music. There's no music right now. Yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the, more clubs, the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. Flip through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki and Yuri's poems for the one they performed during our practice. What's this? Flip to Sayori's poem. It's different from the ones she practiced. The one I haven't read before. Get out of my head. I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. I listen to everything she said to me. That's Monica. I show you, meaning me, how much I love you. Getting out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Ah. What is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Jabart. What's wrong? Nothing. The poem feels completely different from everything else I already written. More than that, I changed my mind. I'm going to get Sayori, so... Ah, well, all right. Try not taking too long, okay? I leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that out after me. Quickly, quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help with her. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always been. That's all she needs and what I want to give to her. I'll reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. Don't expect an answer. She's not picking up the phone. I open the door and let myself in. Oh, no. No. Sayori. She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house? That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really don't want to have to enter the room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? She really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. What is this? File game script? She should I go to the should I go to the game files? Oh my god, she fucking killed herself. Dude, I literally called that shit too. I literally called that shit too. Where are game files? Browse local files. Where do I find that? How do you find that, chat? Don't read all the files? Okay, well, I don't want to read the files then. In the characters folder? Where? I just see shared assets. Search. I'm going to look up game slash script. I'm going to look up game. It doesn't show. I think I'm looking at the wrong thing. Just don't read them. Just play the game. Okay. You don't need it yet? Okay. 
Well, she's fucking dead. File game slash script CR lines 307. See traceback text for details. The fuck? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. Dude, the music's so creepy. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sorry I wouldn't do this. Everything was normal until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayuri I'd be there for her. I told her what was best and that everything will be okay. Then why... Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her, I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayuri needed at all. She even told me how painful it was for others to care about her. That's why I did confess to her. I made her feel even worse. Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like it had always been, could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Somebody I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do to bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. <sighs> I only had one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 End. So what do I do now? Do I hit this? Why is it glitched? You finished act one. Do I hit the top one? an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is my neighbor and good friend since we are children. You know the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. But she's dead. I would get tired of waiting up. If she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk and let Sua catch up to me. It's like she doesn't exist anymore. It's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. That gave me fucking chills. Oh my god. Wait. What? Now check the chapter files. Did they remove her from the game? Oh my god, they removed her from the fucking game. She doesn't exist. She doesn't fucking exist. I always tell myself it's about time I met some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. Perfectly content just getting on getting by on the average wall, spending time, my free time on games and anime. Always been the anime club, but it's not like any girls would be in it. The school day's like every other, and it's over before I know it. After I pick up my things, I stare blankly at the wall by looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Joe Bart. That was supposed to be Sayori. 
I feel like she runs it. I feel like she fucking runs it. I don't know, dude. Like, she's weird. That, I mean, I'm happy I gave her that fucking weird-ass voice. Dude, she, like, run... I, dude, she, she... Because I remember Sayuri was like, oh, Monica told me to do this. I think Monica told her to kill herself, and then Monica got rid of her. And now she's replacing Sayori. Monica? Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect you to, to see you here. It's been a while, right? Ah, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We don't know each other. We do know each other well. We rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Completely out of my league. So having her smile at me generally feels a little... What do you come in here for anyway? I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Ah, uh, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. M much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Oh my fucking god. Literature? Sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have? Um, uh, it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us. <laughs> no! It's always hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I could see that. It's really not boring at all, you know. Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. Oh my god, she's gonna replace all of them. I'm calling this right now. She's going to replace all of them. Every time one of them dies, she's going to replace them. And then it's just going to be me and her. Fuck. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? Always insist the manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Oh my god, none of them are going to remember me. None of them are going to remember me. Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Jabart. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but in that case, is there any chance you'd do me a big favor? I would ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it'd make me really happy. Please? Um, can I give her a creepier voice? Can we, can I, I don't, I don't want to fucking switch it up now, but can I give her like a weird fucking, like, like, like a girl voice, but like a creepier voice? Because I'm fucking skeezed out by her right now. And right now, I'm making her sound like fucking All Might or some shit. How could I ever refuse somebody like Monica? Sure, I, I guess I could check it out. <laughs> awesome. You're really sweet, Jobart. You know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I'll look, forward, uh, I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. Larry for the five gifted. Thank you for the five gifted, Larry. Thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I dejectedly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Monica, full of energy, swings open the door. Floating for the three. Are you glad I kept telling you to play this game? Yeah, this shit's getting weird now. Yeah, this shit's getting fucking... This, I'm captivated by this game now. What about for the three? Monica said earlier that you left Sayori hanging. Oh my god, when I didn't follow her home! Oh my god, she foreshadowed that shit. Patty for the sub, Floaty for the three. She said you left her hanging this morning. She knew. Look at the poster. I'm back. And I brought a guest with me. <gasps> Fuck. A guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Joe Bart. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Dude, it's the same fucking game, but they're changing who's in it. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first-year student. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with somebody like Natsuki. 
Nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Joe Bard in a classroom and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica, didn't I tell you to let me in in know in advance before you brought somebody new? I was going to, well, you know, sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Joe Bart? Girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Sayori used to be the vice president. Is that true? I see the back wall. We walk to the corner room, opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club, you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Make school events like festivals much more important. I'm confident we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea seat, a tea set. Carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before sitting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gives us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess. And <laughs> don't don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Ah, uh, that's not. Insulted Yuri looks away. I mean that you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Jabar, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read the past few years, I don't really have a good way of understanding that. Manga, mutter quietly to myself. Natsuki's head perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she kept quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke with, uh, without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. What about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. Dude, this is literally word for word it. Look at their stances. Only Monica is facing you. She's always faced me, though, right? My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Here he goes on completely, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up. She finds her comfort in the world of books. But you know, I like a lot of things. Story with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can use uh, take the uh, can so deliberately take advantage of their own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Did you restart? No, the game restart because I already killed herself, uh, and then they got rid of her, and now it's getting creepy. Anyway, I've uh, really uh, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. I read a lot of horror. I read a horror book once. Just really grasp something I could relate to at a minimal level. This way, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Uh huh. I'd expect that from you, Yuri. Suits your personality. Is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me in another world, I can't put it down. So real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. Ugh, I hate horror. Why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to read about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gave you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! Give me that back. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you're writing your own poems? Get close with Natsuki this time, do you think? Because it did, it did deadass reset. But now there's only three, and she's, like, filling weird gaps. It's getting creepy. Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you just share them sometime? No, no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing the level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form, the truest form of writing is writing oneself. You must be willing to open up to your reader and expose your vulnerabilities, showing them even the deep, showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you could set an example and help Natsuki feel more comfortable. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I got an idea. How about this? 
They look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. That way everybody's even. Um, ah, uh, I mean, though, it was a good idea. Yeah, well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in. Did decide to take on responsibility of vice president after all. I feel like, I feel like she was vice president last time though, right? Look at the billboard in the back. I've seen it! Fuck! I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its new members. Besides that, uh, that we do have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Is there only going to be two of them when another one dies? How is this going to work? There's two more chapters, two more deaths. Do you agree as well, Jabart? Hold on, there's still one problem. Uh, what's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I'll lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back, me, back at me with dejected eyes. But I'm sorry. I thought, hmm. Uh, the girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Joe Bart. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one before the festival... Defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear headed decision when it's like this? I feel terrible for letting everybody down in this situation. Besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. What it, uh, so if writing pubs is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls? Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes lighten up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Joe Bart? Yeah. Could be fun, right? Really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, it w I would be super pissed. Joe Bart, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thanks so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can, I can to give you a great time, okay? Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everybody remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring in the next meeting we could all share. Looks over at me once more. Joe Bart, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that girl's so creepy. Can I press the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel anxiety welling up inside me. Girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. Can't wait. Fuck, dude. We'll do one day. We'll do one day. One, one poem day. With that, I depart the club and make my way home. And then we'll finish the game next stream. Not next stream, but next time we play it. So next Thursday. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending time, uh, spending every day uh, after school in Literature Club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right, I just need to make the most of the circumstances. Go home with good fortune will find me. I can't wait three days. Buddy, you're going to wait ten days. I'm finishing the game next Thursday. I guess uh, that starts with writing a, a poem tonight. You have to wait till next Thursday? Buddy, I'm a variety streamer. You've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Yeah. What did it say? What did it say? I clicked off. What did it say? Shit. Somebody go back. Somebody go back. Fuck. Somebody clip that. Floating for the three. The other characters look like the person you play as, whereas Monica looks at, at you. The other characters look at the person you play as, whereas Monica looks directly at me. Oh, <gasps> It says nothing is real? Okay. What the fuck? There's only two of them. Wait, I can't even appeal to Monica. Wasn't I able to appeal to Monica last time? I don't remember. I'm just gonna pick random words for this. It doesn't matter. Because it's the first day. No, it's just the three. Oh, Sayuri was there, so it looked more full. Hi again, Jabart. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha! <laughs> oh, the hanging girls there are not there anymore. Might be a little strange for me. I kept my word. Welcome back to the Literature Club. I was the last to come in, so everybody else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Joe Bart. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Maybe you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. What the fuck is that? 
Well, come on, like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Bitch, I can't see... Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, and Natsuki plops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Joe Bart. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway. Now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read? Well, I can't really say no either. Like you said, I'm in this club now. It only feels right for me to do something like this, like that after you ask. Chat, question. We could finish it Wednesday night after we play other scary games. Because this is getting scary, and so it might work. Because I don't want to make you guys wait a week and a half for me to finish this. But there's no other day that I could do it. Like, if I'm not live tomorrow. I got a bunch of shit I got to get done. Wednesday, we're doing scary games, so we could finish it Wednesday after we do other shit. Yeah, then Thursday, we'll do the SDMP, Who Phobia, and scary games with other streamers. Friday, I'll do the React Charity stream for WWF. Saturday, I'm still doing Sim Game Saturday. Sunday's Reacts. Then next Monday, we'll do Man of Madon. And next Thursday, we'll do what we were just gonna do. We'll probably do, like, R6 and then, like, maybe some Fortnite and shit. We'll do, like, a fucking shooting game Thursday. Okay, we'll finish it. Chat, is that fine? We'll finish it Wednesday. But it'll be the end of stream again. Wednesday, we'll probably do Chill's Art and some Itch games, and then we'll finish Doki. Yo, why is the room tilted? Or am I, am, or am I fucking crazy? All right, we'll finish this day, and then we'll finish it on Wednesday. Because I'm not even live tomorrow. Oh, wait. I didn't mean it like that. Um, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything. No, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try and be a part of the club. Even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book. Are you sure? I just feel like, <laughs> well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches her bag, pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so keep your attention even if, if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Thank you, I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Everybody settled in, Monica. I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in the book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Natsuki is rummaging, rummaging around in the closet. Ugh! I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh with the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I don't remember this. I approach her in case she needs a hand. We did, this was not, this was not in the last one. You looking for something in there? Fucking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if somebody else is just going to mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga? You read manga, right? Yeah, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out what the other person stands. How did you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What was that supposed to mean? I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious I pull out the stack. There it is. Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. Since... She then turns to a box of manga, slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box with one of the books missing is probably the most infuriating sight or irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box that she's admiring. Par Fat Girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. Probably means it's either way out of my demographic or simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you could go you could go do it through the glass of the door. Pointing to the classroom door. I wasn't judging at all. I didn't even uh, say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Joe Bart. Consider this a lesson straight. Don't judge a book. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Ah, stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly mo. 
What the fuck does that mean? Don't just stand there. Ooh, ah. Uh, Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me into the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. Pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Why is that? I guess it'd be easier to, uh, to be closer like this. Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. Didn't uh, exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I could say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I wouldn't notice. I can feel her, feel her peering over my shoulder much more eager to begin reading than I am. Oh my god, dude. This is literally just like the last one, but she's doing what Yuri did. It's parfait, girls. How long has it been since I read the beginning? Mm. You don't go back and forth flipping, uh, you don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I finish the series. Are you paying attention at all? Uh, I am not, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. Looks like it's a bunch of friends in high school. Typically, typical slice, uh, of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to me to make me lack, uh, make up for the lack of plot. Are you sure this isn't boring to you? It's not. Even though you were just watch, you're just watching me read. Well, I'm fine with that if you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something like that with somebody else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? You don't? Um. Oh God, her eyes turned all weird. That's not. Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Can you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, uh, sorry. Hmm. Oh, she doesn't have friends either. Why do none of them have friends? Like, I could ever get my friends to read this. Oh, she doesn't have friends. They just think it's manga for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, eh, you still have grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort in, uh, to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards the other losers over time. It's probably harder for somebody like you. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. She didn't say that, though. She said something else, but it got covered by that black text. At least it's not safe in the club room. Septimonica's kind of a jerk about it. I can't win, can I? Paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, I'm here reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems, maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? So, uh... Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. Flip the page. What? Time passes. Now Tuki is strangely quiet. I glance over at her. Bro, she a fell. She fell asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Yeah. Suddenly, Natsuki collapses straight into me. Hey. What? Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give... Mm. She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it in her mouth. Don't worry, Jobart. She's fine. It happens every now and then. So I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share our poems now? Dude, she deadass does only look at me. All right, let's share with Natsuki first. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair I read, I shared mine with her first. Okay, well, let's start with one thing, the things I don't like. First of all, um, Natsuki rereads the poem. Never mind, I don't, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. And then what's the point of sharing it in the first place? I wrote this like I, when I could have been doing other things. Uh... In fact, remember how I said I wanted you to read wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours, like Monica said. Oh well, I w I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, "Ha, huh, well, it's not that great, but let me show you what I what real literature is, looks like." Then you went and ruined it. I hope you're really happy. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it. Erk, <laughs> Natsuki resorts to Natsuki retort. What the fuck does that mean? 
Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Is that like a rebuttal? Oh, you're so... You just... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Oh, Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't really find out if it's a win or loss if you like my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours. Fine, I guess, but only because Monica will make me if I don't. We've seen this. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, e eagles can fly, some stupid ass fucking poem. That shit sucked. I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. No, I don't. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everybody in that high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated. People don't even take my writing seriously. Isn't the point of poems for somebody to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yeah, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard, like in this poem. Seeing everybody around you do great, uh, do great things can be really disheartening. Decided to write about it. I understand. The other nice thing about simple writing is it puts more weight on the wordplay. Um... Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I make it fall flat on purpose. Helps me bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into that than I realized. That's what it's meant to be. That's what it means to be a pro. Glad you learned something. Didn't expect from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. Decide to humor her with the last comment. Don't really care how old everybody is, but if Natsuki feels proud, then I won't take it away from her. Floating for the three. Since I'm certified DDLC lore girl, Natsuki is abused and starved by her father. That's why Monica gave her food, because she doesn't eat. Five inch for the sub shadow and sub for the sub. That is nuts. Uh, we'll show Yuri. Because Yuri's gonna fucking yap. Mm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes more than enough for, uh, time for her to finish. Um, oh. Sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine. You don't need to force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Yeah. Why don't you ask? Just making sure. I guess that it might be after you, after reading through it. Ah, uh, so it's that bad. No, did I just raise my voice? I'm sorry. Buries her face in her hands. Couldn't help but notice she's been, uh, it's been several minutes we really haven't gotten anywhere. Takes you a while to get used to new people. It's fun, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers and being through myself, dude, we've seen this. But I mean, that's also what it needs to do. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a style of writing, uh, style of writing separate from the topic matter, and they form fit two together. The result is both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Her demeanor changes. Her stammering is gone. She sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different writing styles and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Somebody said, can you raid me? Mods, can we time them out? Uh, not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. Might take some time, but it comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. Also, I uh, hope that everybody else in the club gives you a valuable feedback. Natsuki could be a little bit biased, though. Biased how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. Not sure if Yuri is apologizing yourself or me or Natsuki. You mind if I read your poem? Please do. Love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if it's a rare opportunity for her, which itself seems funny. After all, isn't it supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light, the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing, it must be new. Must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by sickening blue-green of the future. I think I did read this one. Okay, so the first poems are the same. I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. It took you a long time to read. Ah, uh, well, I just don't read very, a script very often. I actually think your handwriting's pretty. Eh? That's a relief. I also like the poem. Even though it's short, I, I thought it was really descriptive. Was it too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time showing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something to easy to, di to digest. Are you into ghosts? Uh-huh. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Jobart. Really. I must have totally missed the point. Well, I... You're, well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. I remember that... But remember that poems often express their own thought, feelings, and experience in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story. In that case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. It's a lot more psalm putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Maybe you're right. You also have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. All right, now we got to show Monica. Dude, so you can't fall for Monica. Or Monica can't fall for you because you can't like her. You can't get her to like your writing. Hi, Jobart. Having a good time so far? Yeah. Good. Glad to hear. 
By the way, since you're new and everything, if you've ever if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities, things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. Much better going off, uh, going with the flow, being more settled. Anyway, wanted to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ah, don't worry, Joe Bart. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. Hand Monica my poem. Mmm. I like it, Joe Bart. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Ah, uh -huh. Oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think, think of something Natsuki would write. She's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. Ah, uh -huh. If you say so. Yep. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. Haha, uh -huh. her father doesn't feed her. Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's in a fussy mood pretty often. But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. Like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition isn't interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know? Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. That she's starving? That she's starving? Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. So I'm pretty confident for somebody claims not to be good. Well, that's because I don't have a sound of, uh, I, I don't, that's because I have to sound confident. Fuck. Doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I fran uh, frantically glance at my surroundings. Burning my eyes, can no longer see the color. Are they talking? Simply poems on a flat sheet of paper. The air I breathe dissipates before I reach my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fear, I brandish my pen. I feel like I haven't read I haven't read this before. They all read about sad shit, so what do you think? It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not in the I'm not the right person to ask for feedback. It's okay. Kind of style's gotten pretty popular nowadays. A lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it could be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Wasn't she rapping last time? I think it was the time after that. Well, I'm not sure if if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. Been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everybody is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big, dark puddle of ink. Just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Phew. I guess that was everybody. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everybody's judging me for the mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. Literature club, after all. I sigh. The music's weird. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica's writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. Read them in tandem. I watch their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language, eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feelings of giving up. How can it be cute? I, I know that. It just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh, you mean you have to try to come that, you have to try to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, last time we picked Yuri, should we pick Natsuki this time? Cause they're gonna argue and ask whose is better. I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. I wasn't looking for suggestions. I would have asked somebody who actually liked it, which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and Joe Bart did, too. Based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. Does Joe like this game now? I'm invested into finishing it, yes. Play another game, Joe? Bitch, I am literally, I am literally locked in on this. We're done after this today. I've been live for five fucking hours, chat. Tomorrow I'm not live. Wednesday we're going to do scary games and then finish this game at the end of stream. Thursday is SDMP. First day on. Probably not going to play it a lot, but we'll grind content on it. Whophobia and scary games with other streamers. Friday's Reacts and WWF Charity Stream. Saturday, Sim Day. Sunday Reacts. 
Monday, Nanobadon. Tuesday, I'm not live. Wednesday, we're going to play more scary games. Next Thursday, we might do more Rainbow with Fortnite. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I came across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm, yeah, so for the people liking this, you only I have, like, an hour left in this game when I fucking play it on Wednesday. Probably, like, an hour and a half. And Joe Bart liked my poem, too, you know? He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki Lee suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh, that's not what I... I you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Joe Bart appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. How do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you just that full of yourself? No. If I was full of myself, I, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, well, you know what? I wasn't the one who boobs magically grew uh, bigger as soon as Joe Bart started showing up. Oh, shit! I already saw that insult, so I'm not gonna fucking freak out again. Natsuki! Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Take out your own little insecurities uh, on others like that. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's talking, you wanna, you wanna be edgy, bitch! Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for somebody of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know? If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing other people with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only thing about, the only thing cute about you is how hard you try. Well, be careful or you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? You just accuse me of cutting myself? The fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, go on. Let your part hear everything you really think. I'm sure I'll be head over heels for you after this. Uh-huh. Suddenly, Yuri towards towards me as if she knows I was standing there. Jabart, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. What the fuck? Run a pole, run a pole, run a pole. Oxy up for the three. What are you playing today? Been live for five hours, buddy. You're late on that question. Eldon and Nomoxo for the sub. David and Five Inch for the sub. Wow, it's even. Leaning towards Natsuki. Very close, though. Natsuki. Does it want me to pick Yuri? Oh! Um, hey, Jabart. Why don't we step outside for a little bit, okay? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Uh -huh. Some president and I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to have be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway. This makes you want to spend less time with others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Oh, she's crying. She suddenly she runs away quickly. Oh, dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri, I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki, or did. Joe Bart... Please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We all know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it tomorrow. Completely. <gasps> She's got a fucking mind wiper. 
Anyway, the meeting's over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. She keeps glancing at Monica. Y you could go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Oh my god, Yuri knows something's wrong with this bitch. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take the responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me to be around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just, I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Joe Bart. That would just be embarrassing with you listening. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? Sorry for causing trouble. I do really appreciate Fa. Yo, like, they're, like, like, Monica is, like, enslaving them or some shit. Now, this game's getting creepy, dude. Okay. Uh, we will return. On Wednesday. Chat, I know, I know, I know, I know. How much more do you think there is in the game? Let me look up a playthrough and fast forward to where we are. Well, you're always sophisticated. Uh, yeah, we got like an hour left. Nah, like an hour and a half. Yeah, we got like an hour and a half left. Alright, we'll finish it. Uh, we'll finish it on Wednesday. Chad, I got homework I gotta do. Like, I got, like, I, I, I'm in college, okay? I fucking streamed for like an hour and a half longer than I thought I would. I, I like, I want to finish the game for you guys. That's why I'm moving it to Wednesday. We'll finish it Wednesday after we play other scary games. Is that fair? Right? I'm not live tomorrow. I'll be live Wednesday. We're going to be running Night Delivery, a Chills Art game, probably Decimate Drive, maybe an Itch uh, IO game, and then we'll finish Doki. Thursday, I'm doing the SDMP server, uh, likely, Whophobia, and then scary games with other streamers, and maybe content warning uh, with like me, Sneak, Nolan, and Zussi. Friday's Reacts and WWF Charity Stream, World Wildlife Fund, W Charity. Saturday is the sim day at 2. Sunday's reacts at 2. Monday, we're going to fucking play all of Man of Madan, which is a dark anthology game, the only one that we haven't played. And it's the shortest one, so we'll play it in one stream. It'll probably be like a six-hour stream. I've been streaming a lot more recently, too, so cut me some slack! I said I was going to start streaming more when I stopped posting on fucking TikTok as much. And did I keep up my promise? Uh, yeah. Uh, anyways... Uh, next Tuesday, I'm not live. Next Wednesday, I'll be more scary games. Next Thursday, I don't know what we're doing. But yeah, that's the week schedule. Hope you all had fun watching. I had a fun time streaming. W stream today. A lot of people in the fucking stream. Appreciate everybody that popped out. We had a great track record audience today. If you have any games you want me to play or videos you want me to react to, join the Discord. Video suggestion, have game session tab. I'm serious. It's how I find most of the videos that I watch the games that I play. I appreciate y'all's suggestions so much because it makes me be able to be a better content creator for you guys and also fucking enjoy the same games and shit that you guys want me to play, right? Or watch. So yeah. Video stretch tab, game stretch tab. Send that shit there. Uh, tomorrow, I'm not live, but I'm also going to be prepping shit for other content. I'm going to be getting a bunch of Lunchables for probably next week. Uh, a stream next week. We're going to be reviewing every Lunchables flavor uh, and rating them on a tier list, um, which will be fun. But outside of that, I hope you all had fun. I had a fun time streaming. I know you said you only have one Elden Ring Lod. I would love to see you play it. Uh, I would love to see it. I don't have it. Plus, you could use it to get rid of people that ask you to play. Elden for the sub, no Mokso, and David for the sub. Nobody wants me to play Elden. See, that's the difference. There are people that hate Doki, but no one wants me to play Elden Ring outside of, like, ten chatters. Uh, but yeah. Hope y'all had fun. Who do we want to raid? I do. Elden did really bad when I played it, and I also didn't really have that much fun. Who do we want to raid? Who do we want to raid here, chat? Max Taylor's live. Let's read fucking Max Taylor, dude. I don't even know what he's doing right now. Oh, he just went live, too. Queso? 
I'll raid Queso uh, next time. Next time that I'm live at this time. Fuck. Yeah, we'll raid Queso next time. He just has a lot, shitload of viewers, so I'm going to give it to Max first. Somebody said sellout. How the fuck am I sellout? Uh, anyways, chat, I hope you all had fun, and I will key, I will see y'all on Wednesday. Uh, gonna upload on YouTube.